So we got my boy Vice plays Snake versus Jayla who plays Robin. All right. I didn't get to see what stage they elected to go to, but it's going to be PS2. I think this favors Snake a little bit um, more than it does Robin. Both characters kind of want to play the keep away game, but Snake's just super good on this stage. The one problem with Robin is that he is sort of a campy character, but he will run out at eventually if you don't play him right. right. Snake's got like unlimited ammo in terms of like Nikita, grenades, mortar, like all that stuff. It's just constant pressure versus, I guess, intermediate pressure. And another problem for Robin is if he does get thrown off stage, and yeah. he's constantly pressured, he will run out of up too. Robin unfortunately doesn't have a hitbox on his recovery above him when yeah. he rises, so there's nothing to clank with Nikita if he just launches that out. But right now, even though like Vice has been putting up the relenting uh, pressure, this isn't too like far away in terms of J-Lo. Oh, I... Don't know what happened. I think maybe he directional air dodge away, fearing the Nikita coming for him, and didn't realize how close he was to the blast zone. But he's he's firing back. He's trying to put up the side B for the edge guard. Nice pressure. Ooh, oh, okay. that took it out. PS2's to got that low ceiling. Ooh, catches the Levin Sword. Ooh, he's got to be careful though. Vice is fishing for those fairs off stage. He just wants to clear out the stock really quick. Cement his lead. With JLo firing back with his projectiles. Whoa. That was really smart. He like walked up, pulled the grenade, dropped the grenade, ran back, knowing he was going to jump, and covered it with an up tilt. It was really good awareness. Ooh, that was a good fake out with the side B. Yeah. Nice down tilt and grenade just to apply that little bit of extra pressure. Ooh, the explosion of the grenade just launched him up. Even from that far away. Ooh! DI Vice gets the second stun. Setting up the pressure pretty good. He's been getting a lot of mileage out of that up tilt. Ooh, missed grab. Like Jayla, leading to a combo. <laughs> that up tilt is so stale right now. <laughs> I think one of them did like 12 damage. Oh, turns off the Nikita, goes back in with the dare. Oh, gets back up with the nice side lands side. on the platform. Oh, he's gonna go for read. Oh, he thought he was gonna roll left, but he rolled in. Goodbye, Jayla. Oh, all that almost Ooh. took it. Jayla. One more up air would seal the deal. But he's got to put. Oh, he's gonna put Snake in a disadvantage situation to make something like that happen. And if he oh, tries to directional the air dodge Nikita. past the Nikita, and unfortunately that has got a big hitbox. Like they reduced the, I believe the size of the Nikita's hitbox in one of the patches. I think like two patches ago. But that yeah. joint's still like <laughs> pretty big. That thing's still a killer. Yeah, still a good move. Indeed. Yeah, Vice won the first one. Um, so this is going to be JLo's counter pick, and I agree with I agree with this really well because I feel that with platform stages, Robin has a little more options to cover Snake when he's landing. Like I feel like Snake has like up tilt to cover aerial approaches, which is good, but Robin has like such big like you know like smash attacks in the air in yeah, terms of like forward air and up air, and that could really pressure Snake, and he's going to have a trouble when he has these platforms that are cutting off his routes to hit the ground. Yeah. So maybe maybe this counter pick will work out a little bit more in JLo's favor. Certainly better than um PS2. Vice getting the early lead the, and good early pressure. Oh, JLo's Vice. trying to hit these arc fires, but unfortunately, when Snake like 
does dash attack, it just goes right over him because he, he's like too small, so he just goes right under it. Yeah. Snake living up to his name and snaking around. Yeah, just living around. Oh, did we grab the ledge? Ooh, blew them both up. Yeah. Also, Ooh. we talked about the good um, arc fire pressure that he used to, to recover, so he didn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. Here comes the Nikita. Oh, he likes to go oh. high, but yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's what killed him. Yeah, he was a little bit too high up, so even like DIing in when wouldn't have saved him. <laughs> then the kid just went through that art fire. It was just like you can slow me down, but I'm still coming. <laughs> oh, gets the nair, doesn't get the last hit. So the platform cuts him out, but he fires in the kid again, turns it off. C4. Ooh, the sneaky C4. Got the fireworks. Oh. Well, trying to get an up air chain, but missing. Was that an air dodge? That yeah, that was an air dodge. He dodged one of the grenades like that. Ooh. Ooh, good bait for that. Yeah, this is... Oh, he's sticky. Oh, no. He got oh. he got stuck. Yeah, this is this is really tough because he keeps throwing out those arc fires and Snake has a lot, a lot of ways to, like, weave in and out and dodge the arc fire. And for Robin, like, that's, like, one of her main combo starters, I would think. Yeah. It used to be um, Arc Thunder 3. Or, yeah, I think that's what it's just called, like Arc Thunder. Yeah. But now, yeah, like, yeah, it doesn't, the hit stun of it, it doesn't keep them in the move as long. Yeah. It just does, like, more damage. So it's not really a combo tool, it's just, like, you know, burst damage. It's so also she a good tool to stop projectiles. Which yeah. Is a very big part of Snake, just negating all of his grenades. Yeah, since it's fire, I believe it just immediately explodes the grenades, which is helpful. Yep. Especially since the grenades are really annoying. Yeah. Okay, good. good Covers the high recovery. Yeah, it tries to throw out the arc fire, but it doesn't come out too fast. Fire. But a good, good snipe with the uh, elf thunder. Shield grab, back throw. back throw. He needs to go off stage and try to pressure snake, but twice going high, and uh, I don't know what that was. Maybe he tried that to be reverse it. That, yeah. Either way, JLo's got to be careful because one more up tilt is going to take out the stock. He'll be out of the game. It might not be too bad of an idea to elect to stay on the plats and make Snake come to him. Because even though JLo doesn't necessarily have the lead, he has like four minutes on the clock. Like, he can elect to play the slow game if he needs to. Because there's there's extra time to do it. And but using those um, L Thunders to stop the grenades. Yeah. With little to no cost. And he's also using them. I, I like this adaptation. He shot the L Thunder you know, at stage level to hit Snake as he was shooting Nikita off stage to prevent them from doing Nikita, like he did right there, but... Oh. What was that? C4? Vice recognizing that, he yeah, he drops a C4, drops the clip, explodes him, and takes him out. Dominant game two fashion. Good stuff by both players. Yes. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to... Okay. I'm Alright guys, welcome back. This next game actually we're going to be getting into is going to be Artisan versus Reno. Will to win Reno. I believe that's what WTW is. Yes it is. Okay. So, for those of you who don't know about Reno, he was actually pretty, pretty, um, pretty relevant back in Smash 4. He went to a lot of tournaments, did very well. Uh, speaking of relevant to Smash 4, Artisan wasn't. Uh, I, I kind of hoped you would hear me, but I just... Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, no, so Arden actually played Palu back in Smash 4, which was a mistake. Uh, but little did he know that character would become good someday. Uh, and he is actually super solid. Like, I, he is somebody, if you manage to pilot Palu Tena in Smash 4 to even decent results, you probably knew a lot about the game. And now that the character sort of lets him actually perform, he's been doing very well, uh, and Reno actually hasn't, I was just going to say, hasn't really been playing Smash Ultimate that much. Uh, I think this is one of the not many times he's picked up the game. Uh, more other fighting games, uh, I believe Blaze Blue is the main one, Mortal Kombat, 
Yeah, Mortal Kombat. He's so he's FGC guy, which means you're gonna be able to get see those FGC instincts, which is instincts, which is always so cool. You know, because Smash players, you know, they've been playing Smash for so long. Uh, and when you see somebody who more has like a more fundamentals base for what applies to every fighting game, you see it translate in their play style. Oh, oh, there we go. But so far, super even game. <laughs> yeah. Only about eight percent separating them, and this is something that definitely—it's just Cloud still is so good at trapping opponents at the ledge. Oh, but Palutena, like, sir, disadvantage is so tricky. It's a bit of a commitment, but as you saw right there, he was able to teleport behind Reno, giving him stage control. Hasn't quite managed to really get things started, and right as I say that, a big grab comes in, goes for a hard read on the up smash, and that's actually going to cost him, possibly. He's at the ledge once more. Cloud has Reno. Yeah. Wow, oh. shields the last hit of it. Wow, just, oh, such a brave swing. I definitely can understand why. Now I don't. He's dead. Um, oh, he's gone. <laughs> I guess he was, Reno was very convinced he was going to go into the air, which is fair. You know, Palutena is a very aerial-based character. Uh, but... Was the back air? Was that back air? What? Was that that back was back air, air? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's flat back air. It'll eat, it'll eat your lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll, it won't, like, rob you for your lunch money. It'll just eat your lunch <laughs> out of your pockets. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hold down the court. <laughs> hold down the court. Hold down the fort a little bit, solo-wise. Anyway, so let's get into this game once more. We've had super back and forth. Reno, it seems, has been ahead for most of it, able to get that consistent damage. But, you know, one of the things is that if you're not as familiar with the game as a whole, uh, killing is a lot trickier. Oh! And that's one thing that Artist Team does not struggle with, that up air, finding him in mid-stage. Now this is a massive lead that Artisan can definitely play to if he wants. Oh, going for hard reads. Um... These guys are just swinging back and forth at each other. Reno throwing out these the quick moves, if you notice. The, oh, what a counter! I always forget Palutena has a counter. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad counter by any means, but the character normally is able to... Essentially, the, the, between the range and everything, the Cloud does have a big sword that it's difficult to challenge, so having just a catch-all counter actually seems to be useful. He's, he's broken! Oh, he's dying! <laughs> Oh, man. You know the thing, even though Artisan is still in the lead, even though he's still probably feeling pretty good about himself, uh, we've already won the match. Anytime someone gets a shield break. And actually, funnily enough, I'm not going to say that it has affected him, but he's slowed down slightly. You know, he's definitely not looking to approach anymore. He's sort of remembered the threat that a cloud can, like, pose. And as a result, he's staying more at the longer range. Yeah, not really approaching that much. And right as I say that, that was amazing spacing. I think he roared just to shift his hurt box barely. I don't even know what that was, but oh, now 100% on Reno is actually a lot of rage that he could possibly use. The beautiful early up B, and this is actually could be really bad for Artisan. The neutral air not actually connecting all the way up there. It's not enough to finish, especially when Cloud has limit. He spot dodges in his face, but nothing happens. That limit cross out is not enough to seal the deal quite yet. But now we're at a lot of damage. He footstools him. The on-purpose deliberate footstool and then dash attack is still not closing it. I actually cannot believe how close this is right now. Oh, he went for that. Did you see the tomahawk grab? Maybe he's just trying to scare him out of being in shield. The back you're gonna hit once more. It's not enough. Another early up B, and actually the artisan is not able to punish that. And the up are finally finding its mark after both players being in the red for so long. That was actually such an intense finish. Sheesh. I, there was so much going on, I didn't even have time to address the on-purpose footstool that Reno did. Which is so smart. Because a lot of characters, like, you know, on-purpose footstool, why wouldn't you just down there? 
Well, it was Cloud. You wouldn't down air because you die. So that was just great awareness of sort of a safe way to possibly end his stock. But luckily, Artisan held on to his jump. I believe he did have his jump, and that's how he came back. Game 2 going to once again be on PS2. I I, I think this, char this stage is good for both, play, uh, both characters. I honestly... I do not think that PS2 is as even as people seem to think it is. Most notably, it really favors characters with good back airs, like your Ikes, your Palus, your Clouds, because they can just like sl slide off that platform and back air, and it's just so tricky. Really, like, it happens. Oh, oh my god. All right, I, I, I'm being a little bit, you know, distracted right now, going off on a tangent on why I don't like PS2, when really, these actually, it's similar to that game one, at least in the middle stages of it. It did, the, the game itself started off very even, but Arson pulled away, and then Reno made that comeback, so I'm wondering if this time around it's going to be something kind of similar. Down air actually doing a lot of damage, and getting Reno finally back to stage. See if he can do anything with it. Wow, great job avoiding the explosive flame. Just full hops right over it. Doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Um, they're somehow missing each other. The up throw is not enough, though. Oh, wow. Barely avoiding the focus of flame again. That business shield down to nothing. That was so smart. You notice he went for the explosive flame because at that point, it was not shieldable based on how much his shield had gone down. And right there, that dash attack finally just bursting through. Finishing off Reno's first stock. But Artisan, he's not in the most comfy position, 91%. It's not like he's going to die to anything, you know. A rogue back air will definitely sting, but not actually be the death of him. But, ooh, the question is whether, I was about to say the question is whether or not he can get any mileage off of a tangible lead. He does, a bit of, you know, kind of an overextension with that forward smash. Technically, if it had worked, that would have been absolutely game two for Artisan. But Reno smartly avoids it. And now he is in a position where he's, I, 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 it seems so even, especially after the way that last game sort of finished off. How is Reno's micro spacing so good? Like, he, he just jumped past... Like, that was, that was absolutely conscious. And he, like, look at this. Like, I get hit by explosive flame when it's, like, six feet away from me. How is he just barely jumping over it? Oh, but Artisan now has... Yeah, he's being... He's starting to find his command. on oh, Reno does not tech that. Who would have thought to tech that? And now this is actually a... This is a convincing lead for Artisan. But Tsukibi's actually able to hold it. Okay, the big Nair train, some damage. Ow, 28%. Duh, not quite as much as Artisan probably wanted off of a big, low percent Nair. Oh, and here comes another one. Why is he, is he falling out of that because he smashed the eye or just because Cloud is a, was never programmed? I'm going to go with all the above. Oh, man. That game one is just a faint memory to Artisan. He's like, yeah, okay, you got that comeback on me last time, but this time around, I have a full stock to work with. And it's not just like the full stock, it's full stock plus momentum. Yeah, going up there, beating out the down air with the Kapalu wings is gonna be Artisan. Yeah, taking game two. We have 1 1, and who? I'm actually wondering, who does the winner of this play? Because I know these guys are pretty close in terms of seeding. Probably Ling. All right. Who's, who's Ling playing against? Oh, okay. So they're either playing against Ling. The winner of this is either playing against Ling or the 30th seed. All right, I wonder if we're going to be getting... Yeah, okay, I like that. Just switching away from PS2. Especially when, he, like, if your opponent counterpicks to PS2, maybe it's because they're very confident in it, and maybe you shouldn't go back there. You search for characters. Never mind, he's just looking at the cloud. Wait, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I'm sticking with the cloud. All right. Game 
three. It's been a back and forth between these two. But Reno, it seems, has always been sort of, you know, on the back foot. Being pushed to the corner a lot. Always, for the most part, being down in percent. You know, barring some, you know, pivotal moments, like at the end of game one, when he actually took it. But that does mean that Artisan, even though it, it feels like, although Artisan has been playing more consistent, he has to respect that potential from Reno, especially from his micro space. You know? You see it quite a few times where these moves that normally I consider them to be hard to space around, but Reno just, it's, he's not shielding that much. That's like a big thing, actually. Oh, and there goes the side B. Uh, oh, I love that option coverage, but it doesn't quite work out. And I, oh, I love that upbeat from Artisan. Recognizing that at that point, Reno was starting to get hungry off stage, Going off, going off, going off. He ret recovers high, and he hasn't quite ma found his footing yet. Oh, and right as I say that, the neutral air comes out, giving him some positioning. We're seeing a lot of forward airs from, oh, that could be big. This, man, these guys' recoveries, both of their recoveries have been so stellar. I like that fast one down there. Just catching him, catching Artisan definitely unaware. Good job covering and around with the dash attack. He just lands and throws it out there. And that limit play being taking the stock is huge for Reno. I don't know if we've seen him actually play from a stock lead before. And now we'll see if he can do it. Um, Cloud, not really typically the kind of character who can camp. Yeah, he can throw Blade Bean, you know. But, oh man. It, you can see the way that Reno is thinking. He's throwing out these Blade Beams specifically in order to, like, not to get something out of them, but in order to bait Artisan into throwing out, you know, an explosive flame of his own. And Cloud is able to cover so much distance. He's stuck there on the platform and now on the ledge. Rubbing these empty hops, and finally, beautiful job. He's been throwing out that explosive flame throughout this set, and I don't think it's really worked like that once. But, you know, if it works in game three, then that was, you know, that's the most you can ask for. Keeping this match even, only about 40% separating the two of them. Oh, I'm loving the dash dance from Artisan, but it's not actually getting him any real, any real value against Reno. Oh, man. He's still trying to play a lot more patient. I really do want to bring attention to the fact that Reno almost never shields. I mean, yes, he will shield in a very defensive position after, you know, after he wish, uh, whiffs the limit cross slash. But, like, for the most part, he's trying to go into the air more, trying to space more. And I wonder if that's... Oh, it seems that now... Ooh, now Artisan is picking up on that. He's just throwing out more hitboxes. The back air actually didn't come out in time. Oh man, the spacing on that forward air though is so beautiful. I I really just have to compliment both of these guys and their ability to make it back on stage. Both of them are like, you know, trying to make life difficult when the other one is out there, but I haven't seen, at least in this game, a real completed edge guard. Just running up against the shield and jumping out and nearing. This is and finally the other takes it. Artisan shifts in his seat slightly. Realizing this is possibly his winner's stock. And he, I, I don't know, like, for, from Artisan, even in game one, there felt like there was this confidence, you know? He was like, okay, I know exactly what I'm doing and what I've got to do. But he slowed down, and sometimes slowing down be good. But right now, I mean, it's hard to tell whether it's fear or care. Uh, getting that stock, though, evening things up. I think I think he's maybe a little bit more just trying to be careful, rather. Not letting goosebumps ruffle him up so much. Oh, that is that oh that was not about the natural. Oh, and that forward those forwarders have been so good from Reno. I feel like that's his main, like the main way he's been winning neutral. This takes a while to come out, but the spacing is super good. But he is. You don't want to be throwing out a forward air when Palutena is right under you with all these up airs. <gasps> I thought I got too scared. I thought maybe that was possibly leading into a limit. But Reno just throws it out right there. These two are neck and neck. 83%. But it, actually, back at the ledge is very scary. I'm loving the parry timing, but doesn't actually get a punish. 
and Reno is recognizing just, you know, Artisan's fear. He's starting to shield more. <gasps> the air ran onto the platform, and I, there's so many times that Dash Dance, he just barely avoided that forward smash. Counter and Tick will aggressively get back down to the ground, and the up air to finish the job after being just forced into the corner after being on the run from the entire la like, latter half of that game. Artisan closes it out, and he's going to be moving on into uh, in the winner's bracket where he might have a chance against, uh, what's it called? Link. All right, now we're going to be getting a cool match between two cool guys. Uh, this is possibly a Nestido. I am not exactly sure whether... so. Ace, um, Arrow Ace, uh, he has a Bayo, a Chrom, and a Ness. Pulse an assortment of other characters that he's not going to be playing. But Sir, on the other side of things, he these days he's only playing Ness. I know he sort of has a Lucas, or at least a legacy Lucas, but doesn't really play that character, especially because Ness in this game is just much more his style. Sir is such a movement-based player. He's very aggressive. Loves that down beat to just like throw at almost like a like a pseudo shine in a way. Considering it is jump cancelable. Um, he will like just like sort of throw it out in a way to maneuver himself. That also puts out a hitbox. You're not you're not actually gonna be commentating with a full mouth, by the way. Okay. No, I've just showed up here to um, tell people about how um, Don't do it. The assassination of Osama bin Laden was planned. <laughs> it was planned? Uh, I mean, uh, I'm obviously someone planned the assassination of Osama bin Laden. <laughs> pa he was a prisoner of war of Pakistan. And Pakistan cut a um, deal with the U.S. Um, and it was politically convenient for Barack Obama because he was looking at a re-election. Um, that's honestly, as far as conspiracy theories go, uh, underwhelming. Okay, who who are you rooting okay, for? So, who am okay. I rooting for, or who yeah, do I think who, is going to win? Who do you like better? I mean, I, I, uh, both of these guys are great, but Arrow Ace is my friend. But I also hate Krom, so it's like a bunch of flurry of emotions in my head. Okay. So Arrow Ace playing the Krom, he actually has a super solid Krom. Has quite a few characters, including a Ness actually that he could pull out himself if he wanted. But uh, against a Ness, I guess there's no reason to not pick a boy with a sword, you know? Now, now they are controlling these characters. Uh, yes. You see, you, uh, you can't quite see it in the visuals on those boxes. Uh -huh. But in fact, uh, they have controllers. This is not mental piloting, and also it's not VR. We're, we're not just watching a video. <laughs> of, of a boy Like fighting. animated. Of two, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, okay. I, it's like, you, have, you ever seen those uh, those those movies with people piloting robots? No, no, I don't watch movies. I'm a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, anyway, that's a dead Ness? That's a dead... Oh, never mind. Uh, we, okay, that was what I was talking about before with the down B. It's just such a cool option. Um, and this, they, I, I, Let me just talk briefly. These guys have been super back and forth, and... More than that, I'm loving the movement. Stir is taking a bit of more of an aggressive approach where he's moving and, like, you know, hitting a button, like back air or something. Whereas oh, Ace is a little bit... He should be fine. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, it seems like they've been very evenly matched so far. They're um, neck and neck. Ass to ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but one of them one of them is assless right now. Yeah, yeah. So Arrow Ace Ooh, 111, the make a wish. Aw, wait, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, fine. I'll, I'll take it. I'll accept it. <laughs> I'll, I find it to be relevant. Um, so I will say one thing is that because Arrow Ace plays Ness himself, he's familiar with what the character can do. Granted, his style of playing Ness is different than what Stur does, but um, nonetheless, <laughs> he's going to be... Um, He's gonna be like, ah, this is the option that is like, like Nessus love to throw out X here because I love to throw out X there. Now, do you think his choice of um, yellow Ness uh, 
don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't well, know it's, it stings, about stings, this game. Stings, stings <laughs> like a bee, I guess. I mean, on a, I, I will say, of the nest skins, probably one of the better ones. Doggo, wait, is it Doggo? No, it's Saturn. Ooh. Nest that was actually an amazing read. Like, I don't even know why he thought that Sir would do that, but Sir did it. He just air dodged diagonally into that. Oh, I forgot! I forgot that that kills at zero. That's, that's, mm -mm. Mm. Th thank you. Uh -uh. Some, some, uh -uh. finally somebody that's, says what everyone's thinking. That's a cuck move. <laughs> don't say that Cro word. Okay, don't sorry. say move. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, no, that oh, who's, who's that guy standing just kind of with the headphones in on the right side of the screen? He doesn't, look at him. He's just kind of, does he Which know he's on camera? Which one? The no, okay, on the right side of the screen, just kind of with his earbuds I, I, in. I, I see him. You guys see him? Are we what's singling he, him out? What's he up to? I mean, what's he, what's I always try and think about the up? internal, like what everyone's thinking about, especially when they don't think anybody's thinking about what they're thinking about, you I'm, know? I'm going to name him, uh, I'm going to name him, uh... You can do uh, this. I believe in you. No, we need some. Come up with a funny name. We need to name him Grants. Grants. G R A N C E. Grants. What's he? And he's listening to the Jonestown tapes on his on his earbuds right now. And he's actually trying to promote himself very <laughs> subtly as a as a booth girl. Man. I, I, I <laughs> honestly, I, I am like, a lot of this stuff you say goes over my head. <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, he takes the controller in the middle of this. Yeah, he, we don't, we don't even notice because gonna it's gonna kill Era, Era ways. <laughs> <laughs> Just crawl inside of him. Um, All right, so we're we're in round two. Yeah. So Era ways took last game. Uh, it was pretty even, but the thing is that once Krom gets a stock lead on the last stock, it's then over. It's not over, but it's like if you do not respect the fact that he can kill you literally at zero with up B, then you die at zero from up B. Oh, now, he's dead. He's done. Ooh, that was a little bit of a stage krill. Stage krill. <laughs> stage I, strange, I understand. Strange krill. <laughs> Um, no, that was actually great edge guard. That is definitely, you know, the weakest part of Prom's whole game plan. He is kind of weak off stage. He basically, when he's off stage, he has to get back to legs. Like that is his life's mission. He's dead. Ooh, so Ness is really uh, edging him, <laughs> as, as we say edging. in Smash. <laughs> You're not one of us. <laughs> oh man. Oh. I, so I will say it is not unwinnable at this point, uh, but it is very difficult to win. I mean, 132%. He should die for just about anything, and if he doesn't die to just about anything, oh, man. Like, he has to end the stock right now if he wants to even keep a dream of, you know, at least staging a 2-0. Because if not, he maybe he should just already be thinking about what he's going to do for game three. Well, that's, that's demoralizing. It is, although I will say, I do this thing where if I won game one, especially against somebody where it's like, I should not have won game one against them, and game two I'm just like getting thrashed because they're better than me, then oftentimes what I'll do is I'll instill false habits in them. I'll be uh, like, I'm going to lose this game anyway, so every time that I'm here, I'm going to do this. Ooh, that's a little 4D chess right there, <laughs> brother. I mean, it's it works sometimes. Ooh. Yeah, he's dead. Graham. The brain, the brain, <laughs> the brain game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ness has to watch out for CTE. Using his head like that might uh, he, he kill his kids and wife and self. I, I don't CTE. CTE. That's what the um, football players get. Professional wrestlers. You mean from concussions? He realizes he's using psychic powers, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be bad news for everybody. <laughs> what if what if every time he Ness gets, does back throw he gets a little bit of a concussion? Yeah, and he just gets um Oh, don't play his bay oh okay. Oh, they're doing the same. Yeah, if you play his bayonetta, I don't know how you can go home. Well Bayonetta like, isn't that good in this game. 
Oh. Who is overpowered? Is, uh, is Krom? Right now, nobody knows. Oh. People thought Krom was overpowered at the beginning of the game before they realized that you could do what Ness did last game and oh, kill and him just, at, just yeah, hit him yeah. off the stage and kill him. Um, in terms of who's best in this game, uh, but it's no, no very one's, much up in the air. No one's um, like, you know, fucked up power, uh, screwed up powerful. No, there is no, in terms of character, like yeah. oppressive. Uh, I lose to a different. It, I lose to a different character in each tournament I go to. You know. Well, that's just because of your Parkinson's. <laughs> excuse, <And> uh, excuse <laughs> what? <laughs> your. Uh, I'm not here to discuss your um, genetic disabilities. I'm, I'm here to commentate on the sport. Um, so he's trying to. He seems like he's going for the same. Um, he survived. Strategy. I'm actually super impressed with never mind. That. <laughs> <laughs> it was very impressive until it wasn't and he just died. <sighs> oh man. Look at him go. So, um, how was your week? Oh! Oh my! He's dead, yep. Alright, well, this is pretty even. Don't ask me about my week. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's not good. I go to here to get away okay, from my week. That's <laughs> That's not good commentary, okay. Um, no, I mean, I, I appreciate you asking, you know? I, I feel like people, I, I've just sort of been going, you know, in life. Listen, let I me tell you. I haven't had time to recollect. Let me tell you about my week. All right, my, don't. My don't, ex of no. three years accused me of emotional abuse, <laughs> and I really don't know what to make of that. Uh, well, uh, that is the second time that's happened to me. Oh! Stop doing that. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Based on your commentary, it's uh, uh, I, I would I, be angry I, if I was watching this right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm angry. Sitting, yeah. The and I'm not even no one's I'm participating. <laughs> oh jeez. Ooh, they like to cut it close to that kill zone. Yeah. No. It, I mean, if, if if your opponent thinks you're already dead, then they won't try and edge guard you. Uh, they won't try to edge you. If they think you're close. Oh, that was actually super. Oh, that was oh. definitely a free kill for him. Could not get it though. What a beautiful down beat. Oh, just. And now it's at 78%. The little nest just does so much damage. Since when do boys hurt so much? Don't answer mm. that. Don't <laughs> answer that. Well, and also, um, Ness is glowing red. Ooh, trick shot with the yo yo. Yeah, no, that was actually really good stuff to stir. You know, game one pretty seemed to be going in a very clear direction, uh, the whole set. And then game two, he started getting those edge guards, which was really good because he was actually getting kind of handled for the first, like, stock of that game two. Mm -hmm. And then he got the one edge guard, and then he got the two edge guard, and then he got the entire set, it felt like, after that. Just, you know, managed to find his pace, find his... Uh, Way to win. And I think next we're going to be having NP Cold. No, pro excuse me, no <laughs> problem cold versus neutral. Maybe you should stop drinking out of that flask and you'd um, stop. I, I don't have a problem. You have a problem. <laughs> I can stop drinking anytime I want. Anything. Everything. I can stop drinking. I could. It I is could. raining out, and I was thinking, you know, if we didn't have so much water wouldn't be the worst thing. <laughs> you mean you would like drink the rain? Oh, you mean like like in if, the war like with like in California change. where yeah, they yeah. haven't had like a rain in 6 years. And I guess it's like oh well, if it's not rain it's fire and it's like a grass is greener sort of situation. I'm like I could use a little forest fire. Sorry, I got distracted by something. I got distracted by that guy right in the in the corner there with the glass. <laughs> Why does it feel like he's the main character of this screen? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, the reason is because of composition. All right, this is... There's a sort of triangular... See, there's three guys there. It creates a triangle, and he's at the... Um, but the vertex. The vertex. I, I was just imagining something in the beginning of the movie. It's just the narration is like, that's not me. This is me. And it zooms into the bottom right corner. I bet you're wondering how I got here. At home. Sorry, excuse me. I'm loose. I haven't had dinner. It's, it's, it's all right. As long as it sounds like, like, like ASMR <laughs> salad eating. 
Uh, anyway, getting into game one here. Neutral gonna be rocking the wall for Colds. Another Krom stepping up to the setup. Now, Colds Krom is, uh, first of all, alliterative, which is pretty cool. I like it when people are alliterative like that. If only it was Neutral Wolf as opposed to Neutral Wolf. Also just, I, I don't want to judge people's commentary. tags. I don't want to judge people's tags, but Neutral is a much better tag than Neutral. This is self-indulgent commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, nobody can stop me from doing what I'm doing. This Listen, is a it's their show. fault for watching Twitch. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, speaking of... Uh, nothing, hey, you. You listening? Nothing. You no, should be working on your homework. <laughs> what, if they, what if they don't have homework? Oh, it is summer, it is I guess. Summer, yeah. Dude. Well, I don't know. In a way, like we could always be seeking to improve ourselves. Yeah. I'd say, I think Work on watching, that screenplay. No, no, no. Watching Twitch is studying Smash Bros. is a way to improve. Are you yourself. kidding? This is. I improved myself so much playing Smash. I learned the value in losing, and that's a real thing. That is. That is. Impressive, and it looks like Cold is learning that value too uh, right now. Neutral. Cold is winning pretty well. He has an entire stock. Here. Oh, but why is he on that side? <laughs> oh, oh, I see. No, no, he has an extra life. I yes, see. Yes, yes. Okay. And he's smoking. Ooh. Speaking of Jim Carrey, um, can't wait. That wasn't Jim Carrey. Smoking. That yeah, was Jim no, Carrey. No, the mask. No, that was the mask. Yeah, that was Michael Keaton. That's not true. No, it was Don't Michael try. Keaton. You're it was smiling, <laughs> pretending as if Jim Carrey wasn't the no, main that actor was Michael in the mask. No, he played the. He voiced the mask in the animated show, but in the movie, that's Michael Keaton. You're, this is definitely the opposite, the exact opposite of what you're saying. I don't. Definitely Michael okay, Keaton. Michael was the voice. Keaton didn't voice any cartoons. <laughs> he he was, and he won an Academy. <laughs> All right. Um, oh yeah, my god. Loved Birdman. Anyway, um, so what's what's Wolf's strategy here? So Wolf's strategy, Wolf is a character that like when he hits, he hits. Like the character, he he's like pretty well balanced, as in his moves are very big, and his combos aren't necessarily as like flowery as other characters. You know, it's not like I'm going to juggle you, I'm going to reset you. No, he'll just stuff. sock you right in the throat. Like three times, and you're at seventy. <laughs> like that is basically the way he does things. Um, and as a result, he is a pretty solid character. At least, it's easy to perform consistently with. Uh, also, he has one of the best projectiles in the game, that laser. Mm. It did get nerfed recently, but it's still very good. Oh, and there's the F-Tilt. Gonna be closing out that stock. But Wolf is uh, starting to make a little bit more of an even ground here. He also has a ton of kill power. That back air, as you saw, almost killing from mid-stage at 100. Oh, he's dead. Oh, right. How did he kill him? So remember how I said Krom's up, he kills you at zero? Yeah, yeah. If you're not careful, he won't, he won't careful. Ah, uh, but he didn't even fall into the ground. Then. He did. So what happened was Krom uses, when Krom uses up, he, mm -hmm. you know, he throws his sword up and it twirls around. And it actually twirls around above the ledge. And if you get hit by that, if you make the mistake of holding to the left, then you will get sent to the left and subsequently off stage. So... I believe he could have just avoided Jesus dying Christ. by holding in the other direction. My hairline is receding. No, it's not. Don't, don't, don't sit there. I'm just looking for an excuse to commit suicide. Don't do that. <laughs> Ooh, a little encore. Okay. It's good branding. Am I allowed to promote other businesses no. on the stream? No, we, we, yeah, no. Let's say that business is Stilettos in Nanuit, I will, I will, New I will York. mute you. I will mute you <laughs> okay. with my hand on your throat. <laughs> anyway. So what's the what's the difference between Fox and Wolf in, in, in strategies? Oh, so f actually it's very interesting. The difference between them, <laughs> the difference between them has to do with their speed. So, Fox is what I would call a flowery combo character. Uh, um, kind of fruity, like kind of <laughs> no, a little bit no. of a fairy character. Are we talking? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is pride. Get it in is, while you that can, is brothers. Not how, that, that is not how that works at all. Um, 
I just can't wait for July to come and I can finally take the plug out. Uh, anyway, so Fox is a character versus... <laughs> well, Fox is just all about speed. Mm. Um, and I feel like the reason why he went Fox is because he just couldn't keep up with Krom. Krom is also very fast. By far the fastest sword character, really. Um, and that means that, like, you know, if the guy's dancing circles around you, you kind of want to just get, you know... Get a dancer. Yeah, get there. a dancer. So, you know, engage in the ballet. Um, and now we have... And it seems to be working out pretty well for him. Neutral has already basically lapped him in, a, in percent Ooh. and in a stop. That up smash almost finished him. Uh, another thing about Fox versus Wolf, Fox is a lot more of a technical character. He has to be a lot more precise. Wolf, his moves are huge, like bigger than you'd think they'd be. Fox has decent moves too, but you have to be yeah, very Wolf careful. Wolf is more of a brawler. Yeah, Wolf is, you know, he's like a heavy character. Yeah. You know, he's, he's like a heavy version of Fox. You know, where I'm trying to think of like, it's like Captain Falcon versus Ganondorf uh, in a way, you know. Captain Falcon's super fast, able to, you know, combo people really well. Ganon can do like. Ganon's a man's man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> sort of a, um, a Steve Austin type. As opposed to uh, maybe more of like a. Uh, wait, I got this, I got this. British. Oh. Uh, uh, wait, um, uh, se sexy boy guy. Wait, oh, yeah, Michaels. yeah, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, there we go. Aha, I knew a wrestling thing. Uh, anyway. Well, Shawn Michaels is more of a playgirl thing. <laughs> but that's neither I here nor there. I do it. Well, that's because you're a playgirl. <laughs> Anyway, so Cold has been sort of, ever since this box came out, Ooh. it has been, yeah. Right in the kisser. Uh, that's another thing about Fox. Fox, he doesn't have as many moves that will just kill, but he links into them. He'll hit you with, like, weak, like a weak move in order to combo into the strong move that will actually finish the stock, which means it's actually super scary against him because it's not like, oh, I have to worry about, you know, the giant fist coming at me. It's like I have to worry about the very tippy toes because those tippy toes are going to lead into, lead like, into the, uh, the kill. Yeah. It's bah! Like, exactly. And then Thank you for the uh, cosplay. Is that what that is? <laughs> I, I don't know. No, I was just I'm stretching. A, oh. This, um... Why doesn't Encore have uh, the WWE 2K games? That'd be sick. Do they not? You do now? Yes! Yes. <laughs> Guys, come Please. come to Encore. They they got WWE. <laughs> WWE? And as, well, and some other games. <laughs> <laughs> but come on down. They got um they got a little some board games. Too. Oh, I want to right. start a uh, marbles tournament here. Like old fashioned, I've like been, Jack marbles. Yeah, just just kind of flicking marbles into each other. That's an e-sport. It's an a-sport. Oh my god! Oh wait, hold on. The world has been turned on its head. Cold is now playing Wolf, and so we're, like you were asking before what the difference yeah, between yeah, these two characters are. Now we're seeing. There is no difference. They just jump and nair at each other. <laughs> <laughs> the entire time, they were just the same character. <laughs> oh my god, they are actually they're like doing the same thing, though. <laughs> they're just but I guess now we're going to see it's more of a philosophical fight. <laughs> Braun versus um, giggly, kind of <laughs> limpress, fruity jumping. Happy <laughs> Pride, everyone. <laughs> um, I mean, really, it's their fault for not working on their screenplay right now and watching Twitch. <laughs> Guys, your screenplay's bad. Stay with us. <laughs> um, right, yeah, this has been a very low engagement fight. No, and actually, the thing is that they are respecting mm -hmm. the power that both characters have. Uh. Like, Wolf is, both these characters get comboed super hard, you know? Like, they are punching bags once the opponent gets a hit in. Mm. And so they're like, I don't want to be the punching bag. Right. And it's like, how do you not be the punching bag? By not don't engaging. Don't get hit. Yeah. And right there, though, finally, Cold actually is the first one to take that stock. Perhaps this Wolf counter pick is, was the right call. Oh, but now we see him off stage. Oh, and there's just a turn right back at him. <gasps> 
big. Wow, all right. That's just super good combo. Now, it's interesting going from Krom to Wolf. Maybe you want someone a little weightier. A little... Um, so, what? yeah. The, the, mm -hmm. Yeah, so Wolf does... You're not as... the So, Krom is a character kind of once Fox gets into his zone, kind of messes him up. Mm. You know, like, he's a sword character. The thing about the physics of it, it like, right, takes right. time to swing a sword. Whereas with Wolf, you know, you maybe have more ways to get your opponent off of you. Um... Or at the very least, really threaten them, you know? If the opponent, it, like, if the opponent has to be scared of actually, like, pursuing you. Oh, and he messes up the angle on the upbeat. You see neutral patting his head. Definitely not upset. Pretty upset about that, knowing it was just human error. But he's not letting it phase him immediately to actually take a much more aggressive approach. We were talking about how most of this was not engagement. Yeah, but right yeah, now, now he's they're ramping in it his up. face. Maybe this is the strategy he should have been going with the whole time. Look at that. He was he was I don't he was barely touched that entire time. Ooh. All right, so he's um he's bringing it to Wolf. Yeah, and no. he's not letting up. That seems and, like the more effective strategy. And I do taking think, some risks. And I do think that is like more in line with the character. Fox is one of the most true rushdown characters in the game. As in like his ability to get inside people's business and then mess them up once he's there is crazy. Look at his damage. He's at 69% and counting. He <laughs> drags him down. Thank you. Uh, 82. And this is getting to the point where Wolf has to very much be scared. You know? Ooh. I'm scared. I'm scared too, dude. Oh my god, but I'm telling you, you notice like how Fox oh, hit him wow. like 80 times and he was at 90 and he hit him 4 and now he's Jeez. at 93? This could be it. Beautiful timing on that upbeat. This is actually so close. Oh! Up. There it is. Cold taking the set. Wow. Too. Wolf is a consistently dangerous character. Oh, yeah. You know, that's, and especially when you get to those kill percents, mm. that's when it can get tricky because, like, you know, Fox can link into his moves, but, like, everything Wolf has just kills. All right. I got to eat my dinner. All right. Yeah, but, um, hey, eat. listen, to all of you out there, don't do it. Um, don't, do it. don't trust the mainstream media. <laughs> don't do it. And um, <laughs> no, <laughs> please. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying trust is them. we all knew trust those quote-unquote Sandy Hook parents were always gonna win that case, but um, but just question the narrative. All right, see you guys later. All right. Oh. Matt, you wanna you wanna you wanna get on the mic, Matt? Matt, you wanna uh, all right. Um who do we have next? Is, I heard Ice is gonna be on stream next. Ice is gonna be on stream next. Zaxel? I thought it was a, oh, right, right, okay, right. yeah. Um, I'm actually excited to see Snoku versus uh, Salad Dressing. Not because we haven't seen those two play, but but the thing is, the tournament is so stacked that they are fighting round two. Like I've definitely seen those guys go to toe to toe and like like in like semis. I, like even like I could realistically see them going play some like in losers finals or something like that. But. No, I thought it was round two. Oh, it's round. It's their second games, respectively. Okay. I'm doing all right. Uh, you wanna you wanna grab a mic, or are you just gonna sit there awkwardly? Just freaking give us hit us with that high level analysis. Yeah, dude. I, I, that's a compliment. Don't get mad at me for complimenting you. Monthly. Also, monthly is this uh, coming June thirtieth, June thirtieth, which is my friend's birthday. But he's in Japan, so I can't see him, so it's fine. Oh, that's so sweet. Um. Anyway, so come on down. We're doing monthlies on the Sundays now, which means there is free parking here in the area. Uh, of course, the being on a weekend means you have all the time in the world to have things pan out. Like it's it's basically an entire day at Encore. Like, you could show up at 3. That's when we open. Why not? And then also, of course, this is the road to defend the north. Guys, defend the north. It's coming up this freaking two months. Next month? It is next month, guys. Like, this is the...
first time there is going to be a Smash tournament ever in Manhattan. It's already a PGRC tier, and it's going to be growing because we saw the month. Yes, it's already PGR. I don't know. I might have uh, family plans, but I signed up for this a while ago. I mean, and yeah, I want to. You get guys should have signed up for it a while ago. Seriously, like it's it's gonna be a. I was supposed time. to go to Scarlet Classic, but I couldn't go because the family things, and I was seated high for some reason. Well, that's know. probably because there were. No, that, that was seat here. Well, I'm saying. Like, okay. um, matter, all I'm saying know. is that you're 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 you're, 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 um, you're great. No, I'm not. Yo, I really want to enter like half of these games just to learn them. These I games just, look sick, Exce yeah. except for Fortnite. No one likes that game. <laughs> I definitely. What's the weirdest game here? Like, I'm trying to see. Which is the one that just, like, s f sticks out? Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Samurai what? Showdown? What's Samurai Showdown? Uh, Evo. Oh, okay. It's, it's the one at Evo. The one that's uh, getting. You could what's this? I've uh, never seen For, for Honor. Honor. I've never definitely, seen that. I've one. heard of that one. What is that one again? Vampire Slayer. What the heck is Vampire Slayer? This is. I, honestly, this is so cool. Also, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Like that's, Yo, I, I, I want to oh enter that. I want to enter that. I want to enter Tekken. I want to enter... I hate Melee. I want to enter Street Fighter V. Do they have that? Dude, I no, they don't even have if that. If I wasn't I commentating, I would probably enter me. Oh, there's more over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is, yeah. It's just the Road to Defend the North. Um, oh, we have Undernight. I downloaded that game. I played it for like a couple weeks and I just, just didn't like it. So I uninstalled it. Mortal Kombat 11 is clean. Yeah, actually, there was a Mortal Kombat 11 tournament here last Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with like they like 40 people. So that game is actually sticking around, being alive. Um, and the next is this the next one coming up? It's just gonna be. This is in three days, guys. The DB Fighters, no, the winner of this gets. Is it venue for Defend the North? Yep, gets the, uh, oh, and that's actually the case with our Smash Monthly coming up. So, guys, if you win that, you get to go to Defend the North for free. Um, then also, oh, so also the, the Melee tournament's back? All right. All right, they're doing Mondays now, super cool. They took a, there was a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, uh, trough. You know, Ultimate had just came out, and a lot of Melee players were experimenting with that and everything, but they always have such a com consistent, great community. Um, so they're gonna be running tournaments again on Monday, and I always like people, like really the community my boy. is closer than ever. Now. It's my boy. Um, yeah, and so Ultimate Volume 5. This is part of the road to defend the North. So winner from this gets venue. So that means that if you get... I think I can uh, win that. I'm confident because I always get top two, top three at once. Really? What about the monthly that Noku won? I got third. Dang. But that was, that, that was when I beat Ling and Arch. I remember that. With DK. Oh, man. I remember that. How yeah. did that happen? Also, every Tuesday out in uh, White Plains, Undiscovered Smash... Really cool bunch of guys. Uh, I was there this week, having 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 fun. I don't like going to UD anymore. Yeah. I want to go, but I don't because it's, it's like I get off of work and then I take a nap when I go off, get out of work, and I usually wake up at nine. And if oh. I go to this, I'm gonna be I'm nap. gonna be sleeping like while I'm playing, just like how I did up at the uh. Eon Monthly. I fell asleep when I had to play in quarters. I just went wolf and I just, just did not care. I couldn't like I fell asleep for like 45 minutes. I was what, tired. What, what, what work schedule do you have? Uh, 7.30 in the morning till 4. I make 23 an hour. What do you usually, um, what so. do you usually go to sleep? It, sometimes I go to, like, there are times where I, sometimes I have to take sleeping pills. The thing about me is that I don't fall asleep easily, but I sleep for a long time. I'm a heavy sleeper, but I don't sleep easily. That's the problem. Dang. So sometimes you is always the worst. T today, yeah. today, I don't work, I get off at 1.30, so I get to go home and sleep. And I came here as soon as I woke up. So I get some rest, you know? Man, I am... Playing this game tired is the worst. N reaction time goes... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my reaction time is always... But are we finally getting our next setup coming up? All right, it's going to be Shy Guy versus... Oni Ichigo. Yo, t today it's kind of stacked. Oh, yeah, no, today is super stacked. We got Sinji, we got Ling, we got Phantom, we got Ice, we got Yu, we got Shy Guy, we got Noku, we got Hindsight, we got... Hindsight already lost. Really? Yeah. To whom? Who, who did I want? Cold. Cold upset. Oh, no, I didn't realize that. And then, and then the guy, and the other guy beat Wonton. And Wonton just came back from beating Ofi at the monthly, too, which is crazy. I know Wonton's actually been... Oni-chan's been killing it. This man has been awesome. Oni-chan, I will never forget the first time I played him. You know what's him. crazy? 
it's actually funny. Shy Guy is, you know, sort of doing a lot of worse. You know, getting fifth at UGs always surprises me and stuff. And then you get Oni Chan over here getting top three, top four stuff. Like, he's been, he's been leveling up. Oh yeah, no, I never. I, I still remember the first time I played him. I'm was, positive like, one of the one of the worst feelings I've ever had. Yeah, was playing against his game and watch, and I was just I was so mad afterwards. I never lost to him like a game ever out of like four sets, and then the <laughs> most recent set we played, he took the first game off of me. It was actually kind of cool. I have to focus. What? Really? You don't want to get on the mic? What? You don't, you don't want to get on the mic? I got you, I got you. I'm gonna put over here, I'm gonna put over here. Uh, yo, man. I just wanna say one thing. Bowser is a super sick character. He is like, the most fun I've ever had in Smash ever. Like, he is more fun in Smash 4 DK because he is an actual character. A heavyweight that is good and that doesn't rely on gimmicks. He just racks up damage and kills. So, are you committing to uh, I've, I, I haven't touched Ridley in two months. I've oh, not, I, I, I won. The, the, the last time I entered Encore, I won. I beat Wraith twice and everything. I was all solo Bowser. I've been killing with him. Yeah, 30%. You saw what he did? He needed the, the bomb grenade into the... Um, this is also, actually, I should mention, a matchup that notoriously Game & Watch does well in. Uh, yeah. Even in Smash 4, it was the... I'm surprised he's Pikachu. I'm not, I'm not Pokemon trainer. Uh, I am actually very surprised, considering that. I remember that the tournament that... Uh, the first one that Onichan came to and really sort of shook things up, uh, he ended up losing to Noku. Uh, and I kind of know exactly why. Which is that a lot of his game plan, you know, it's the forward air. That forward air, people called it nerfed. People called it, like, booty. Who's? Uh, Game of Watches. Yeah. Uh, and yes, it definitely has different utility, but like if you know how to use it, then it is... That move is very strong. And oh, sure, yeah. if you hit it or you hit Game Watch, it goes away, but at ledge, what can you actually do? Yeah, no, but the big thing and is... It hits ledge! The, the oh yeah, and up, you can't, look at that, that move is... You know he's intangible to the whole entire thing? I did know that, yes. It's actually, and it's frame 2, I think. It's uh, very fast. Is it frame 2 or is it frame 3? It's one, I don't know, but frame three it's, intangibility. It's faster than it, it than, than we're okay and, and with. Yeah, and you can get upgrade strings out of it. Like, Game of Watch is a super good character, and I really feel like he's not for, he's not really known in the meta because most of the top tiers are sword characters. Yeah, no, that's one thing that he always kind of struggles against sword characters. The other thing is that, like, I will say, we see, when we th when we see Game & Watch, it's with a good Game & Watch player, and we're also not playing as the Game & Watch, and so we only see Game & Watch when he's doing well, you know? We only, like, take a look, we only turn our heads when he's doing his cool combos or, like, getting upsets, but keep in mind Monster. that, like, what? Monster. Yeah, yeah, but also keep in mind that, like, the character has very clear defined weaknesses. Of course. Um, light. He is super light. His range is not as good as it deserves to be, you know. But like, mine, mine is back air. Mine is back air. The back air is like a really mediocre space. Yeah, but then look at that. Like you can't even contest him when he's. And then the burry, the burries are insane. Oh my god, down smash is dumb. Down smash to. You know what? You know it's the third. Like 30, you know, dude. Yeah, you know it's the third longest uh, burry animation. It goes, including roller. Um, well, actually, well, it's actually DDs, but like we don't count the DDs because you almost never get buried. But the the um, longest time for Barry is Inkling Roller, Zero Suit, um, Flip Kick, and then Game and Watch Down Smash. No way. Yes, you search it up. More than uh, Ridley Down Tilt. Down Tilt. Ridley really doesn't bury. Oh, no, it's, uh, King K, 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 K Rule. My fault. No, K Rule is over. K Rule is over um, Game Watch. So Game Watch is fourth. DK is actually. No, DK is yeah. really. They nerfed it already. It has to be another very bad. Because the thing about it is that Game Watch can do the down smash forward smash, and DK can't even do that until like 140, 150 for the forward smash. Makes sense actually now that I think about it, yeah. Yo, that falling there out smash is super good by Shotgun. Wow, this game is relatively even. I, we were just talking about our own. I honestly think that even if Shy Guy wins this, he might go for one I, I, I can see it 100%. I'm um, not sure why he's Pika. The reason why it was. Anyway, so well, the first time uh, Oni Chan came out here, he ended up losing to Noku. And the reason why is because I'd be sort up air. Like when I was playing against him, I did so much damage. Why? I don't even know if that was true or not, but 28 to I don't think that. I don't think that, 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 was, that, was, a, that was a Bowser combo, bro. That was a <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh my god, that was, that was a 9. 
That was a, that was a combo Yo, and a half. Honestly, I really hope that Game & Watch never becomes meta relevant. He might be. No, I really hope he doesn't. Because I, I cannot. I mean. Imagine he, if you lose to Nine Hammer on a semi regular bro, basis. He, he can be, like, versus for this matchup. I can see it. 100%. I can see it in this matchup versus. Oh, he's dead! What a snipe! I feel like for this matchup, for P2 Mate, maybe. For Snake. I feel like he does very well against zoning characters like that. Because he has Bucket as well. Yeah, you know, so he has Bucket that basically neutralizes. P2, like, oh, sorry. Wolf, Pikachu. also, I think he was amazing versus Wolf. Yeah. No, the thing is, like, there are a lot of characters that, like, when they aren't comfortable playing the game anymore, they just start throwing their projectile, you know? Uh, namely, like, you know, Pikachu, Wolf. Mega Man. Mega Man. The thing is, though, I think Oni has lost to the Sal just a couple times. I don't think, actually, I don't think he does that well against Mega Man. Yeah. He might not. Um, Leaf Shield. Mm. Yeah. Also, because, like, Who did he lose to? So we have lose to lose. We have. Oh, oh my god! Oh man, that is um, wrong. Yeah, so Wonton is actually in the. He's out. He's in the ro round robin. He's out. out that's that's one two. One two. Um, and this is coming from last time I saw him play, he beat Ophi. I mean, so here's the thing. I actually, last time I saw him, he was, he got kind of, it might just not be his week. I know he kind of busted out early at UD. So, you know, sometimes you just, like, aren't feeling the game so much. You know? I, that's I why mean, I we all know breaks. that Wonton's a good player. We, we all, all know. know for sure he's a good player. So, and, yep, I'm going to say, the Pokemon trainer's going to come out, and I honestly think a lot of this match is going to be spent. <laughs> Get away from me. Did he just taunt? That's yeah. so cute. 15, oh my god. Oh, damage. Yep, okay, here come the combos. I hate Squirtle, bro. I love Squirtle. Man. He's, like, I love him as a character in Smash, I despise him. He's literally Mario Pichu size. Alright, yeah. So, anyway, I was just gonna say that I feel like Ivysaur is really bad just because of when. When uh, Oni wants to be spacing in neutral, he kind of has to put himself at this awkward, like, above and away at, like, 90. Like, like yeah, I saw it, too. I saw it, too. Oh, my God. But, like, above and away at, like, 80 to, like, 75 degrees. Um, oh, my God. Game & Watch. Yo, Game & Watch is sick. He really did doubt. He was at 40%. And he did the... Oh, that, that, yeah, that downer is disjointed, bro. That's oh, like my some, God, the grab. The grab isn't coming. No, because that's intangible. Oh. Did he the actually? He, intangible. he knew. He knew that one wasn't gonna grabable. That's crazy. How did Shy Guy know? A thing because about Game Watch. Well, no, because he knows every sort grab probably, and, right. I, and knowing that that moves insanely like disjointed. What's well, a sword basically? Yes, yeah, what's well, a chair? But yeah, <laughs> sword. Oh, I don't know about this. I, if he honestly should just be saying Charizard. I mean, or just going back to Ivy Sword. Yeah, I think that's fair too. I missed that. I would have, would have just done the up throw up in. Bro, did you see him really grab him at 40 and do down throw up into 90? Like, that was that was more than a Bowser combo. That was like a Mario combo. Uh-oh. Alright. Actually, I like this idea of he's putting himself in the corner, which is actually very bad. Never mind. Oh, about that grab. He's not even going for the backers. He's purposely going for the forwarders. Yeah. I've seen that a bunch of times. Unless he missed and put it a bunch of times. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I love that switch. I like the switch, but unfortunately. Yeah. Oh. You think as I love the switch because I know exactly the idea behind it. But Oni Tom was actually ready for it. And as a result, he That's lost it. all the stage. That's dead, dude. It's disgusting. Why does Pokemon I, Trainer have that? I honestly love Ivysaur up B. I think Ivysaur up B is so cool. Yeah, it's so dumb. It's so cool. His up air is Oh dumb. my god, that hit twice. Ivysaur up air and down air are dumb. Yeah, you see you saw, you saw, you saw that uh, this one. Yeah. If, you, if you can angle Game Watch's chip, that's what I was talking about. Bomb at the leg is insane. The thing is, he called me invincibility. He, that was, I think yeah. he was straight up running out. Because for those of you who don't know, the way that invincibility at the ledge is calculated, it has to do with your percent. And, and how long you've been off stage. How long you've been off stage in burst. As in, like, the longer you've been off stage, the more invincibility you get. Mm -hmm. So 
just counterintuitive, but it's actually true. It was, I think it was basically made that way to uh, prevent ledge stalling. That jab is pretty fast, too. Yo, he... Oh my god, it's percent! Oh my god! He's still going. Onichan has a chance to actually take this game right here the and right set. now! Looking for a back air. Oh, yeah, but he's just ready for it. And then Casey he spaces it. He's like, staying hard. Oh, he's dude. not comfortable. He's not comfortable. I guess he just wanted to get to Ivy as quickly as possible. He has no jump. That's it. That's it. Wow. Oh That's my god. He, he could have had that game. That would have been the set. Yo, if you oh. lose, if you lose, I'm telling Magic. If you lose, I'm telling Tyler. Magic. Yeah. But yeah, he um. So we, me, him, and Phantom are all sponsored by the same uh. Same uh, org, C R V N T. We're all sponsored, and we have a little joke where whenever whenever we get upsetted by a player that's seated lower than us by like a good margin, we just tell our uh, we tell our CEO to make fun of him. A little, little joke thing, but <laughs> he said no. It's workplace politics, man. If I know the stage they went on, if they put the song, then I'm gonna be very, very hyped for this game three. I'm usually almost never hyped for other sets other than my own because I don't really care. But like right now, Game Watch doing well against Shy Guy. <laughs> oh man! And if he loses, I get to make fun of him. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but only chance, See, no disrespect I, I kind of like Shy Guy as a person. I know, love him like, as a person. You know, I, I would love to see him succeed, you know? It's not about necessarily who wins and who loses, anything like that. You know, it's more about, like, who spends a kind of fun. I love, I love, I love Andrew. He's the, that's the geyser. And then him losing to a Game & Watch, it'd be, yo, you know, no could say, no could say, ha, I beat him, but you lost him, I'm the better trainer. But even though that means absolutely nothing, but like that, that could have been funny. What are you funny. talking about, dude? That means everything. Okay. Don't you know no, that? No. How many times has Shy Guy fought on each end? Probably zero. How many Game Watchers are there on the planet? Literally like four in the whole world. And he's one of them. I can't I can't think of four, dude. Oh my god, they put the song on. Let's go. Yeah, it's Bowser's it's Inside Story. All right, yeah, this is about to be the best Game 3 ever. Let's go. I actually can't believe that he counterpicked to Battlefield. I, I think this is Pokemon Trainer's best stage. Most likely. Up um, airs. Oh, he went for the back air. Look at that frame three. Between up, like, can think about Between Ivysaur up air, Charizard back air, Squirtle combos, it just flows so well between all three of the characters. Whereas, like, some stages are maybe good for one and not for another. Alright, good job avoiding that down smash. I love this song. It's my favorite song in the whole game. This one and some Persona songs, and some DK songs. Other than that, I don't really like any songs. Yo, but can we talk about how it's somehow, like, 2019, and we still don't have aquatic ambience? Yeah, that's crazy. Like, oh really? Like, really? I love the DK. single best oh, video game. Oh, my God. What a catch! Man, um, whenever whenever I see somebody like n hit Ivysaur out of Uppy, it looks so easy, but it's, it's really not. not. It's not. <laughs> that, he just go, he goes so fast while moving, and it was so smart. And just, if like, you look at him, back air right there. If you look at him, being like on four legs is kind of like hard to hit sometimes. He's not that big. He's like medium sized, but oh, oh what a catch though! The Noku special. That was not the Noku special. Noku always stands for smash. What? Noku, no, Noku owns forward smash at the ledge when your opponent is on the ledge, and then they just get up into it. That's the Noku. That was, he recognized that he upbeat and misspaced it. I just called the, he's at 89. I love this song. Okay. All right, I if like he, that. If he was at ledge, that would have killed him. That would have been the stock. Really? Yeah. Back, bro, I was I'm I'm Bowser. I get hit at back air at the ledge when he's at like 120. He hits, he does back air and air up. I'm dead. That's Bowser. I just died. There's a clip. I just I just died. That's why I don't like upbeat. Upbeat's too much. Way too much knockback. Way too much. It's absurd. That is no special. Oh, he's right before hard punish. 
I'm going for it again. I can't believe he didn't down air. I, I, every instinct in my body wanted him to down air, but he didn't. He just wanted to get back to stage. Recognizing that it probably wasn't worth it. <gasps> that didn't bury on oh Yeah, and when that move doesn't bury, it's actually very weak. But this does him a terrible angle. That nice anti air could up be. He's dead! And now, and you can actually see Shy Guy nodding to himself. Like, some people, when they start losing, you know, they'll like put their head in their hands, they'll get really upset. He's just like acknowledging that his opponent is very good, that his opponent is playing super well. That's and good just, for he needs you. To step too. it up. Can't punish that grab. Up frame three. Ooh, let's see if he can step it up. All right, getting that forward air just in time. Let's see if he can that actually get a stock here. That was a terrible downer. These are terrible downers. Stop it. You keep doing it. How are they terrible if they work? Huh? No, he, he could have got killed by two of them. But Shaggy didn't pull the trigger. Oh, oh he's dead. He's dead. Oh, oh my God. God. What a beautiful air dodge. Keeping him alive. And if he's alive, that means he can still take the set. Oh my god, he's up a string, he's juggling. Charizard, down smash, force smash! Oh, that's it. Alright, I can't believe he managed to get him before the smash attack came out. And now he's back to the Ivysaur. We know what Ivysaur with Rage can do. He's looking for the down smashes. Bro, the thing is, at ledge, the, the, like, if I was looking at the combo, that combo, if that was at ledge, it could have been game. Oh. Again, he gets hit by the, the, the part of that key. He's not gone just quite yet. He no might jump. have to be forced to switch. He's no, that was dead. Oh, he rolls through it. How is he not getting hit by that? Okay, he's just playing patient, throwing these razor leaves, looking for an opening, recognizing that the next hit will kill, and that is it. He actually gets the town smash to forward smash. Onichan takes the set. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he beat Phantom? Wait, what happened? Who's been going on? Mayo beat Phantom? Yo, good stuff. What's happening tonight? Why did you seed? Why did you seed? What? You, if, yeah, you should have seeded like Oni Chana above Shy Guy and Cold above Hindsight. And oh my, dude, what is, has, has any set actually gone according to seeding yet? I don't think I've seen oh, yeah, a single one. Every single one off stream. Every single one off stream. That's not true. Hindsight, uh, that match happened off stream. The hindsight I match. I don't think it happened off stream. Yeah. So you're saying every match off stream oh, yeah. went according well, to plan. Anyway, what is bracket looking like? Let me let me let me let me get let me feast my juicy eyes on this. Salad dressing beat Noku. Not hugely upset. Yeah. So Phantom, who came all the way out here and actually ended up being knocked out in winners round three. Uh, so Mild versus Zaxos. I think what we're gonna get right now. Uh, Ling Ling has been doing the work, as well as... Where's Sinji? Oh, Sinji's also been doing the work. He's going to be facing off against Salad Dressing next. Then uh, we have Ling Ling versus Onichan and Ice. <laughs> Excuse me. Ice versus Cold. Good. Nope. Thematic. Cool. Who's stronger, Ice or Cold? <laughs> we'll see. Anyway... All right, yeah, so these two play quite a bit. Mile, I think, is going to be rocking the Yoshi, whereas Zaxel is going to be piloting the Bowser, is what he's been saying. This is a matchup that I personally am familiar with because I've only played Yoshi for the past five years, and I don't know remember what it feels like to play a human character anymore. Uh, but he is super solid, uh, super solid in this game. The overall mechanics changes from mid between this and four helped him out so much. Uh, but he's facing up against a Bowser. And although Yoshi is pretty good at killing, if you don't kill a Bowser, then you might as well just kill yourself. I mean, again, Bowser does have the glaring issues of his up B being very, like, you can take advantage of it pretty easily. You can, especially if you have, say, a down air that spikes, which yeah. Yoshi does not. His downer can semi spike. It, I don't know if you can do it any. You might be able to like do specific fast fall down airs in order to make him fall out. 
and kill Bowser with when he's up being? I don't know exactly. I haven't actually lapped out the uh, the way to edge guard Bowser properly. It might be either very easy or extremely difficult because Yoshi, in general, you know, he doesn't have every every part of him is part of his hurt box. Yes, so. He doesn't have any disjoints, really. He doesn't really have swords. It's all flesh and bone with him. He doesn't have the luxury. <sighs> Privilege, man. <laughs> He's actually starting off strong with a good old 46%. Just racking up the damage. Big yikes for Mile, already at kill percent, and Zaxel still sitting at a comfortable 39%. Well, keep in mind, yes, but then Yoshi gets his hits in. Like that, all right. <laughs> did, you, did you know that he was at 39 just like half a second ago? Wow. And I understand this is still not, oh, now it's even, yep, pretty much. It's oh. pretty even. Educate oh, me here, what's kill percent for Yoshi? Kill percent, you mean as or against? Uh, Killing Bowser as Yoshi. Oh, killing Bowser as Yoshi? Depends on what you hit him with. Uh, up air is, in general, his safer kill moves are not going to kill until pretty late unless you're positioned well off stage. But that can link together forward air to up air. And that um, shield poke with the forward air. Yeah, that, I, I, yeah, I think that was a shield poke. Either that yeah. or it was just a uh, drop shield. You might have been trying to parry it. Yeah. Um, oh, great job there. I'm actually loving Miles' patience. <coughs> He's like recognizing that Zaxel in disadvantage. As a Bowser, ironically enough, he tries to hit a button, you know? Yeah. Bowser has so little to, that he can do to get his opponent off of him that he's waiting just like fractions of seconds, recognizing uh, like basically what he's about to do, whether it's like tech in place or just throw out a neutral air. And he is from that point getting all of his damage. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like it's yeah. surprisingly difficult for Yoshi to deal with Bowser's, like any uppie that has a ton of hitboxes on it. Sometimes his best tour just lose. And this matchup seems like a good uh, clash of very good for Yoshi because you get to combo a very heavy character into Oblivion and Yoshi being light, is that correct? Right? Yoshi's actually surprisingly heavy. Yoshi is oh. a uh, the same weight class as Captain Falcon. Ah. And he is 13th heaviest in the game. And you know, Bowser just be. being Bowser and hitting like a truck. Yep. The big thing is that Yoshi can struggle to kill. Yeah, see, it's like, surprisingly difficult. Uh, Yoshi doesn't have a clean way to challenge moves like that. And as a result, the spacing has actually been so good to avoid that, but he still doesn't hit it. Oh, never mind. He did. All it was right. the fear that killed him. And it seems like Mile could bring this back if he plays his nope. cards. No, okay. <laughs> oh, he's living. Oh. Right, right, right. I actually knew he was going to live that. All right. He's not living. Not, no, he's gone. All right. Uh, oh, I see the running it back motion. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he just, just run it back. So maybe Mile's a little bit salty about what happened right there, you know? Yeah. Whenever somebody says, like, whenever anybody just this motion, you know, it's Let's because... Let's try that one more time. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's forget that ever happened. Uh, anyway. Oh, he's going the pink Yoshi. This uh, is very this important is choices. So, really good Yoshi players can actually play any color. Uh. Um, that's how you know I'm not a good Yoshi. <laughs> Oh, look at all that damage! ninety-five percent from the start. Did oh man, he just did twenty-two from one down air because of the landing hitbox. And um, this is what I'm talking about. He's dead. He brought it back so quickly, what? What? and Yoshi is pretty far from still taking a stock. I mean. Maybe if you put oh yes, see look at that. Uh, well, finally he got the forward air, but it had to be like sort of an on stage forward air, you know. Yeah. Going off stage hasn't really panned out for Mile, and he might stop doing that. Wow, that was actually he tried to go for the mix up, waiting for him to drop shield, but Bowser's up the out of shield is so quickly that as soon as he recognized that, there was probably no, you know, move coming out, just upbeat and hit him. Ooh, 
He's actually taking the second stock. And I'm, yeah, that back hit him down. Dude, smash is nothing to do it. Apparently, neutral air combos into side Neat. I'm pretty sure. Milo has a good chance of bringing this back. If he kills Crit, no. No, <laughs> no. He's alive, but I don't know about good chance of turning no. this back. Yeah, he gets up before he even hits the ground. He had a chance there to maybe bring it back. Man, this, it's this weird feeling. When you play against a like a big heavy character like that, and you combo them like for 90 in this super slick thing in the very beginning, you know, your brain releases dopamine, right? <laughs> yeah. Your brain is like, you did a good job with that combo. Here, have this chemical that makes you feel good. And you're like, yeah, and you still lose. And your brain is like, but I comboed him so hard. I, 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 my brain told me that I did a great job because I got a 90% combo that was super slick. What do you mean I'm still feeling bad about losing? And then... And your mind just negates the fact that he hit you three times and got the same thing. <laughs> uh, bringing in that, that, that psychology, man. And finally, we're going to be having Sinji coming up to uh, stream. Now, Sinji is seated number one here. If you don't know, he is the best Pac-Man player in the world. Oh, yeah, I don't think there's much contest about this. He recently is. got seventh at MomoCon. He's been ha he's had great wins all over the place. Um, sort of, it's really cool to see him come up here. And he is probably looking to just take the tournament, you know? Yeah. He's probably the biggest obstacle for him is Ling Ling, who had it who has overall had a winning record against him, but the most recent time they played at Paramount, uh, Sinji won too well. Yes. So I think right now he's hoping to, you know, he just finished finals. He's like, I'm going to get back into Smash, Summer of Smash, all that good stuff. And he just wants to kick it off by just winning an encore. You know, yeah. just get that out of the way. <laughs> and I've heard some conversation of if he does get to third place, or first or any of the places we're gonna have a lot of campy gameplay going on with all of the people that are here today that might be good oh this is the game yes the campy game that I've heard of yeah so salad, salad dressing, dressing and Sinji yeah. yeah I I mean I personally I grew up on commentating Sinji yeah. I have commentated more number Sinji grand finals than maybe any other person in the universe uh, by the way, <laughs> it's Sinji Dill. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I had to commentate Sinji. I genuinely think I might have commentated more Sinji Dill than any other person on the planet. Like, and just so you know, Sinji Dill back in Smash 4 was either Diddy Kong Pac Man or Sheik Pac Man. Huh. And every game was a timeout. Every <laughs> game. Every game was a timeout. That's uh, a so, so. People, people are like, oh, they're playing so campy. It's my threshold is completely different than you, mere mortal. What, what, <laughs> what appears as campy to you is nothing compared to Dil Sinji. But anyway, we just got Sinji all on his lonesome here. And even though Mega Man is can be a campy character, salad dressing does not play him as such. Uh, he's much more aggressive, as you can see already. Trying to be in Sinji's face, understanding the threat that he poses, and. Instead of, uh, you know, trying to set up his own wall, he's like, I just don't want your game plan to get started. Oh, because this is what happens when it does. Did you see how he took, like, he's at 70. When did he get to 70? That happened pretty fast. <laughs> this is a lot of Sinji's play. Um, he's a very trap-based player. Yeah. Meaning that... There's going to be kind of be these periods of downtime where, you know, he's going to be setting up a hydrant, charging up fruit, everything like that. But you can tell, you really can tell that he is thinking about what he's going to do next. You can see the planning in everything, in stages, as he's, where he sets up his hydrant, which fruit he's picking, the position his opponent is at. There's a reason why this man is able to make this character work, and that's because of how cognizant he is at every stage of the game it is. 
Da -da. Oh, the bell leads to the death. Yes. For whom the bell tolls. <laughs> he has a Gallagher ready to start a combo. Well, two hits. Not much of a combo, but you know, some. Who penned you for whom the bell tolls? It tolls for the. Is that. Who was that original? I realize this is not a. Oh, is he dead? Oh no, I'm sorry. I was, I was, I was so preoccupied Wait, with. Wait, you get me? Yeah. All right. I was so preoccupied with literary facts that I completely missed the dunk. Oh, I missed that too. I, yeah, I know. I know. For whom the bell tolls, a Metallica song, and it's also a Ernest Hemingway. You're treading into my very unknown territory. I'm pretty. What? Stupid. Haven't you had to read art? What? Are you looking it up? Okay. How freaking old do you think I am? I'm not that old. I, I think you're old enough that you've been forced to read Hemingway in high school or middle school or... No. Really? They don't do that anymore? I guess you not. You lucky? Yeah, I, I seem pretty lucky. What? John Doan. Okay. And it's also a Hemingway? It's also a Hemingway Alright, let's book? get talking to this Smash gameplay. Uh, salad dressing already at 133. Sinji at, sitting at a comfortable 59. And controlling the battlefield currently. Keeping salad dressing in his place with the helpful use of a bell that did not <laughs> come out. Keep in mind, though, that Pac Man, his biggest weakness has always been securing a kill. He, that's yep. one of the reasons why Sinji often has to revert to this more, maybe more campy play. Because if he is not forced to approach, he is not going to. He is yeah. going to set up his wall, set up his traps, basically have it all be a... Look, he doesn't even want to mess with it. Oh, and he should have! He took 31% from across the stage because he didn't he didn't know whether or not he should have messed with it. How Ooh, much? And a three hit. <laughs> and he's still holding the metal blade. I'm waiting for this metal blade to do something nuts. This thing is going to... Oh, boy. Yeah, he, this is a funny thing. So, you can, so, for a lot of this game... Saw Justin was keeping it super even, and then in the last like 15 seconds, things happened that he didn't understand. You know, and as soon as like he's just like, wait, what's going on? Huh? Who? What? Where? Because I don't know what happened, and I was sitting from here like, a, I, my job is to pay attention to what's going on. And so like, it's really hard as a player, especially in a matchup you're unfamiliar with, to get back into the zone after like some crazy stuff happens to you. Yeah. <laughs> he just knows, man. He, he, he knows he's in the safe zone and, you know, where it will go, depending on what move will come out. And that's the game. And that's a fat yikes <laughs> for Power Man himself. Going the final destination. <laughs> this seems like it would be beneficial for both sides, but we will see. Salad dressing starting off, seeming like he has control of the situation. Sinji does get a hit off, but Salad Dressing is still controlling the situation. Wow, oh, <laughs> the damage. Actually, I, I will say that, yeah, he's revert I, he is controlling. When he gains stage control, he's doing more with it. Indeed. Uh, in the last game, Sinji would put himself in the corner consciously, and he's losing now. Wow, did you know that? Did you remember that? Oh, that happened pretty quick. Whoa, hold <laughs> on, when did that happen? He took, dude, he literally took 70 in like three, three, two, two milliseconds. That, that happened way faster than I thought it would. Alright, I guess Sinji now controlling the game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seems like he has wow, this. Wow, down under the shield, looking like Snake out here. The spacing, did you see that? That was perfect. He just ran away and perfectly just did not get hit by the dash attack. Oh my god. Oh, oh, he has the, oh, he did nothing with the saw. It's always a good idea to get rid of that fire hydrant as fast as possible. 
because if it's Man, still there, that can be some scary stuff. And it's so stuff. difficult to follow the game state of what's going on. You know, like, yeah. Sinji, as a player, he puts himself in weird positions because he needs to get his traps going. So sometimes, you know, he has to put himself off stage or at the corner in order to really, you know, prepare for what he needs. And then, but, like, Otos at the same time, you don't know whether it's genuinely a bad position, like, whether he's actually sacrificing anything, or whether he's just baiting you into doing something. Yeah. He seems to have a very... Either it's just the way you play Pac-Man, or he's just figured his own way out of playing Pac-Man. And it I works. Mean, there are very few other Pac-Man. Sinji, is, he's a lab monster. He really invented this character. Really turned it into his own. And you see some of the crazy things that he does. It just surprises you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was a good forward smash for me. Ooh, salad dressing put in the position in which he couldn't really do anything about it. Fire hydrant comes from the bottom, bell comes from the top, <laughs> he has nothing to do there. I would Sinji avoid everything. <laughs> okay, now now we're starting to see a little bit. I will say, so er, there was a point where he was, where uh, Salad Dustin was using those pellets really well. Like, he put himself in the perfect space where Sinji couldn't really do anything much, and he was just constantly piloting him. Yeah. But he hasn't been able to find that exact spacing, you know? Definitely because of Sinji being able to avoid it, but if you can manage to find that, you mean, well, that's game, that's sad. That's over. I actually, I gotta uh, step off the mic. For I gotta step off the mic for just a bit. I will be joining you guys later. Alrighty then. Ryan. Versus Crown. Cold gets a good solid 14%, but Ice returning the thing. What? I don't know. Hold on. They're two very cold people. I don't. Ice controlling the game right now. Keeping cold off stage. And sitting at a solid, comfortable 30%. While well, cold is over there suffering. But cold is. was. doing pretty good for a moment. Ice gets a kill. And it goes right back to Ice controlling the game. With Cold getting intermediate hits in. And just trying to struggle into a kill. Cold may or may not be kill percent, I'm not sure, but...
This is so hard to keep track of. They're both cold and ice. Ice taking the second stock, and still the three stocks left, seeming to be just all over cold. With good pressure, knowing when to back off, and cold finally taking the first stock. Sitting at a good 28, oh, 41. Gets a nice up B on Ice. And Ice still providing that nice pressure. Hold sitting in a very bad position right now. So off stage, always scary for a Crom player. Not any better for Wolf either, and that will lead to Ice. Is second stock being taken with Cold still sitting in a very bad position but also still getting those little hits in and chipping away at Ice's defenses and now applying and Ice still controlling the game Ice Still doing really well and cold sitting at a 159% kill percent in a very dangerous place right now. The back third did it.
Oh, awesome. Oh, shit. I'm loud. Okay. So this is uh, Ice versus Cold. Ice is representing Encore. He's sponsored, right? Alright, dope. And Ice is the wolf? Awesome. Wolf's top tier. That's cool. Currently a stock up. Krom also pretty good, I think, but bad recovery. Almost top tier. That's not safe. Alright, even game. Winner's quarterfinal. This is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I... These are both pretty, like, early killing characters, right? The first one to get an advantage is probably just gonna take the win, right? Oh. Krom loses. This joint's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It's back and forth. I don't. I don't really know who's gonna win. Seems pretty cool. <laughs> it's all right. They're both looking for an opening. Double up smash takes it. That was ice, right? Who's next? I hate you, Nova. All the teleport characters get fucked. Lilat's trash. <laughs> you play Bowser, right? Lilat's okay. I mean, the slants are kind of whack, but it's all just something you have to play around, right? Whatever. I hate Unova. Unova's kind of whack for any character with a teleport recovery. Kind of. What's up? Uh, what's your name? Um, my tag is RBW. I'm Stuffy. Nice to meet you. Man. Seems like we got a pretty exciting match going on soon. We got Ling Ling, the Connecticut Peach Beast, along with Blank. Yeah, I mean, fill me in. I'm, I'm familiar with each of these, with either of these players. You're familiar or unfamiliar? Unfamiliar. All right, all good. Ling Ling, um, yeah, he was one. He was a top Smash Four Peach. Obviously, like Peach being a really good character in this game, you know, kept kept it going, and yeah, he's one of the best at Connecticut currently. Um, Oni Chan, <laughs> personal personal friend of mine. I'm I'm gonna keep this unbiased. Oh no, be as biased as possible, please. All right, well, <laughs> Oni Chan, my boy. <laughs> yeah, you know, he he's on the level up lately. He was he was like you know getting pretty high up there a little bit, like Community and Smash Four, but now I feel like he's found his groove in Ultimate so far. Fresh off being shy guy, which is, I would say, wow. pretty, pretty good. That's pretty nice. A pretty good upset, I would say. Um, what character does he play? Um, he plays Game Watch, but um, wow, you know, he he's dabbled with a bunch of characters. Like he has a DK. Um, he he started out with Cinnaror, but then switch switch to uh, Game Watch. Um, he did play. He played All Mar in the last game. Game Watch is hot. He's got that upy out of shield, which is insane. <laughs> Yeah, Game Watch is a gimmick. Uh, Game and Watch top tier, 100%. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, this is still the time to find like the potential and like, you know, who's good, who's who's not. Of course, like, especially with like the buffs and like non buffs or blah 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 blah. Yeah, I, for I, sure. I would say I would say Game and Watch currently right now. I don't know. Like, it, I feel like we still need more like exposure. I think a lot of characters need more exposure. But that's besides the point. All right, opening with Chef. That's kind of an oppressive move, but pretty punishable. Yeah, you want to just get that damage early, like get the poke. Didn't seem to work out in the favor, and Ling Ling is just capitalizing on like all the 55. openings. Fifty-five. Right? That was the quickest fifty-five I've seen in my life. Yeah, that's just that's just beach for you. Like, you know, yeah. aerial game is the key, and you know, all and all cancel aerials as well. It's just yeah. racking up the pain. 
Yeah. Apparently. And the down tilt and the float cancel. And then. Oh, yeah, like, I, I was playing Ling Ling before and just, you know, the movement, the movement he has is really good. But not as much. Game and Wild. Didn't react in time to that down smash and taking the stock. Oh, like, only Chan with a slight lead. Yeah. Up for 0 2, neutral air. Good combo starter from, from that. Yeah, let's look at this edge guard. This is crucial. Ooh, this is the turnip. Um, it's hit by the key, putting a disadvantage. And Oni Chan just getting the percent right now. Seventy Those forward airs. Oh, getting the uppy. Uppy's like honestly like uppy is like a perfect tool for game and watch. It's so fast. Yeah, good edge guard tool. Good get out of me. You know, you know, uppy out of shield. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, it, it does it all. You can probably file your taxes while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> there, it, Game Watch has all these similarities to Mega Man with like the up B and up air. There's the only two characters. Yeah, I would I would agree. Uh, oh, the berry. I would say like gives Game Watch is up B. Like obviously having a having a hitbox makes it a lot better. But yeah. But the up I would say Miss uh, Mega Man's up air is marginally better. Like you can get percentage off, of course, but you know it doesn't really have like the knockback capabilities that up, yeah. Mega Man up air can have. Even though it can be a little cheesy at times. And cheese is not really the name right now, Whoa. but the down got, smash is fast. They got that cheddar down smash coming from Oni Chan, and he's in the lead still. Like chilling, ninety-seven point four. Yeah. A little bit difficult, I was gonna say. Even but game. It is now an even game. That's just the fall, the volatility of Mr. Game and Watch. You know, he's heavy and turn it to sixty. That's just the combo game of Peach. Like honestly, like some most characters, like honestly, like you gotta get like sixty percent. Like on you in order to fight Peach. That's like that's when neutral starts. Like you just get combo to death. It's like all right, now yeah. this is when the game begins. And yeah, you have to accept that. Like, and Peach came off ledge there. Peach Peach just threw the turnip off the ledge out of disadvantage, and instantly got sixty. It's, yeah, it's just crazy the follow-ups you can get from. Even though it's only early percent, you can't really do it much now. But it, that's just you gotta take it. That's just the big advantage with Peach. Like get like that early damage out of the way and just focus on like getting the kills. Yeah. And it's an even game right yeah. now. Oni Chan has been pulling it back though. Oh, Whoa. down smash! You gotta get still the still alive, still alive. Oh, not gonna get Franklin up B hitting, avoiding the reversal. Oh, this is. This is a this nail bar right last now. Last hit. I'll be out of shield. Franklin coming out. He's gonna take it. Ooh, like skin of the teeth for both players. Oh, Ooh. the forward air. He's not gonna take He's it alive. just yet. Mr. Game and Watch, you know, thicker than we thought. Whew. Back air. Just gonna oh poke out God. slightly. Game and Watch is gonna be fishing for this down smash. Oh, oh, back here gonna come out. He's gonna take takes the it. game. Oni Chan takes game one over Ling Ling. That was a that was like a very back and forth. Like that was close. Like Ling Ling, you know, gained gained those combos down, but Oni Chan just kept his composure, kept his spacing. You know, especially with especially with Franklin. I like well when I say Franklin back here, of course, like Franklin the Turtle. Yeah, best, best one of the best kid shows. Um, <laughs> um, you know, I mean Ling Ling. Opened almost every stock with like a 60% advantage, and Game and Watch always brought it back instantly. I was not aware that he had such a high damage output. Yeah, that, that's just what I mean. Like, neutral really begins like against Peach once you have like 60% on you, because that's just that's just how crazy Peach's combo game is. But like after that, it's it's really just like making sure you don't get hit by fair, by yeah. turnips. And just getting not getting stuffed out, and we're going to Town City game two. I like this option because you got the combination of platforms and the Final Destination S setting, so it can be a good mix up for Ling Ling. Yeah, you you do have the space to start running your long down tilt combos. And, but so far, so good coming from Oni Shine again. Like he seems to be keeping keeping his mindset up from the first game. Oh yeah, and he's really utilizing those forward airs and like. They do take up space. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like it's just been a battle of the aerial game, and Oni Chan has just been winning a lot of these skirmishes at times. But he, I mean, we gotta keep in mind this is Peach. Like a combo can just spring out any second. That up air right at the top of the blast zone, not gonna kill. 
Yeah, I don't think it, it, it's not really like you can't. I don't really think it can kill, honestly. I think it can. You, I think you just have to like jump and be really stupid. That turn up just like shot Re reflected turn up, <laughs> defying gravity. Speaking of another like great thing about Mr. Game Watch, his down B like being a, just a really solid reflector overall. DBZ coming no, out, but not gonna take gonna it. Live. Thick. Oh, the lag. Oh, oh. my God. That yeah. hurts. Someone's cooking up some spaghetti in the background right now because that was an interesting interaction coming out from both players. Dragon Ball Z to the SD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we're back in the neutral. The shield pressure, not gonna come out. Game watches up B is too quick. Yeah, like that's just been that's just been his main like crux for a lot of like the up close game. It's like, oh, you're just putting all this pressure on me? Oh, I can just, you know, trampoline out of there. Yeah. And the fact that he can air dodge out of it and aerial out of it makes it really hard to sort of get him off of the parachute. Yeah, because, like, you can mix it up. You can go for downer. Downer is always, like, the good, the good, like, landing option. Like, I mean, it's a little laggy, but it's it's powerful. It's yeah. fast. It's, you can be unpredictable. Like, of course And you always get down faster than your opponent who's jumping up to get you. So it's very hard to punish. I definitely agree with that. Right now, it's I would say it's kind of close-ish to even. Not really, not really something both players can complain about right now. I would say the slight advantage would be would be to Ling Ling because of just how how sheer the kill power could be, especially with Fair Dot yeah. Eyes coming out. Not gonna utilize it. Right. Game and Watch at this percent though will definitely kill with a down smash to forward smash. Ooh, up there not gonna take it. Like it should. Like it's just a good it's a good damage starter. It's kind of like Fox Laser with like slight knockback. Maybe like Falco's laser more so. Bob Ooh, coming out. Forward air. Forward Ooh, air! The explosion, the AoE! Oh, only on that shot! Ledge a little too long. Ling Ling might be on his winter stock. Yeah, how much extra credit can he get though? That that's the important thing. Like, you know, he like Mr. Game Watch, one of the lightest characters in the game. Any move can any move can take it. Like yeah. even maybe an up air. Maybe maybe not an up air, but like almost. back air, fair will both definitely do. Oh it. yeah, definitely like near the ledge like this, and like only Chan like, I mean, care like a guy like using like his pressure really well right now. But like I would say like 32. make sure make sure you're not like playing can he fire. Can juggle? Fire. No. Forward air doesn't kill quite yet. Turn it. The edge guard. That up be hitting above the ledge is crazy. Oh, there there goes those, the, those floats. Yeah, I I like the fishing with the back air. You know, he knew that that his that's his win condition to take that stock, and you know he took it. 58% right upbeat now. He upbeat so fast out of that nair. That could have been a big damage otherwise. Yeah, like honestly, like the that's just the big thing right now. Like like we've been saying, like it's just uppy 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 uh, shield. And I mean, oh. like Mr. Game Watch doesn't really have problems like. With like the up close skirmishes, but like with Uppy, like it just makes it so much better. Yeah, the, all these forward airs, he's setting up a wall right now. The edge guard. Oh, shielding the down smash. That's why like he he uses the forward air to create shield pressure, and then he tries to go for the down smash. And now this is the scary spot for Ling Ling. Like he he knows that a lot of moves can kill right now, and if he gets buried by the down smash, it's lights out. Yep. Those back air, the back air is a not terribly strong though, so getting hit by that um, center stage is not going to kill for a very long time. Yeah, he would he would definitely need to go deep in order to get killed with it. Oh, try and go with the oh, side beat. That would probably putting kill. in all his marbles. This is intense. Yeah, the footsies right now. Ling Ling's doing a good job bringing it back right now though. I can't I can't oh, complain. Parry into up B. I, oh! oh is my that God. it? And he takes it! Oni Chan! That forward beats air. Ling Ling 2 0! -oh. Jeez, what exactly happened there? He, it looked like the up B got stopped by the bomb um, getting put out. Yeah, um, because there's two hitboxes with fair. Like, like if it, dro like it drops down, hits you, and then the AoE explosion. Um, oh my god. That was oh. insane. Uh, hold on. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't mean to. No, 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 like that. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my boy. Oh, dude. Oh, Jesus. Game and Watch is nice. I mean, he he is an unconventional character and always kind of has been. So yeah, like I mean, Mr. Game and Watch, he's always been a character that has some presence, like in every game he's been in. Even in Melee, like we had 
I mean, we have Curve, like, you know, still showing that, like, the character has some relevancy. But, like, it's never been, like, a really, like, high-rising character. But I'm just hope I'm hoping, like, with this, like, you know, we can put Game & Watch on the map. Yeah, definitely. I mean, recently, um, Meister's Game & Watch took, like, a B-tier event. Yeah, d definitely. Like, I mean, yeah, my I mean, Meister's sick. Like, just a sick player with Game & Watch as yeah. it is. Um, but, yeah, like, I mean... He also showcased like how good Game Watch can be, like the potential. I mean, I would say like there are definite flaws. Like I would say the big thing is that like I would, if he was like facing against a sword character, it would be like really difficult. Yeah, he definitely struggles with hitboxes. He can, he also doesn't have any anything forward facing. He doesn't. Yeah. He he kind of has to his back air is his main kind of approach tool in that regard. And yeah. That, yeah, that can definitely yeah. be difficult out of disadvantage and things like along that line. But does have crazy damage output. He, he can he can take stocks really quickly. Down smash into forward smash kills at like 70. Yeah, they they beefed up his kill power, especially fair. Like uh, yeah. I mean, like fair. It was a, it was a pretty decent move in uh, Smash 4. But like it never really. It was kind of just like a oh look at this box, just bam. That's a hit box. But yeah. th in this game, it, I feel like it, it can definitely be contested a lot because like you can hit the bomb, but it, it has a lot more impact to it. Well, that that kind of speaks to um, matchups. Like, the bomb becomes a lot more effective when edge guarding upbees that don't have a hitbox because, sure. like, like like Pit, or even the uh, sort of Joker Arsene upbee is actually super vulnerable. But, but Mr. Game Watch is not the retro character we are looking at right now. We got the Pac-Man. We got Deadly Alliance. Is it De Deadly Alliance? Damage Alliance? Deadly Alliance. All right, Deadly Alliance Sinji versus. I don't know how to pronounce his the Saxels, but like, let's go. RVNT Saxel. Revan? Revan Saxel. And Revan Saxel is at 150% right now. Is he going to get zero to death by Sinji? Let's see. And oh, the edge guard oh, comes out. 1.2%. 1.2%. What a start. Like, we were just like ramming on, like, on, on tags, but. Bowser know. with the Galaga. What can he get off it? Nothing. Oh. oh. Trying to call out with the grab. There it is. Give me 40%. Yeah, that's just like that's just like the 40% for free card. And I mean, I'm just really glad like Fire Breath is really good now. It was it was good for edge guarding before in Smash 4, but like now it's just hard. Now it, now in neutral, like the the short hot Fire Breath reads can be super impactful. Now now can Zaxel take this stock before Sinji gets too much more extra credit? He is Bowser. He can live a while, but. Yeah, that's that's just that's the whole back and forth with this matchup. It's it's projectiles versus can I actually kill this character? And I mean, that be getting that be getting strength there from from Sinji was very good. But now this is now this is part of the game where, yeah, Sinji can rack up the percent, but like he needs to make sure he can get the kill. Yeah, without getting an edge guard, I, I imagine it'd be difficult. You have to go for some kind of crazy down smash or forward smash read, up smash. Pac-Man doesn't actually have too many. Um, Ari I don't think any of Pac-Man's aerials killed Super. Um, like, I, I mean, if you want to like cheese with down air, like, like off off ledge, that would probably be like your best bet, or like or oh. back air. There is Key, uh, but Key is pretty telegraphed and got shielded just then. Oh, uh, missing the tech, only getting a forward air. Now I'm very curious to see how Sinji is gonna close this stock because. Um, unless he gets Bowser off stage or he gets a smash attack, I don't actually see it happen. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. It's just like or, oh, or an apple day. That would just an keep apple. The, may not keep the doctor away right now, but it definitely kept Saxel's stock from being alive. Here we go. The combo strength, 41%. Whoa, 41 percent. Forty one out the gate. Bowser back here not killing. This no, is the edge guard. This is still definitely do. Oh, oh, the buffered side B. You oh, hate to see that. The interaction. I was gonna say it was. De it's definitely still doable for Zaxel. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those two edge guards were were pretty early, considering how heavy Bowser is. Like, yeah. Well, that first dog, like, did you just like? Yeah, one point two six percent. Just clean, 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 clean stock. Textbook, textbook Pac-Man. All right, we're going back to the FD. I was about to say he's going prom. I, I, I think, I think FD, FD is a good idea. He wants to just, I think he wants to keep Pac-Man like in constant pressure. That's like the thing with projectiles. It's a whole wall of pain, but once you break that wall, that's 
That's yeah. when that's when the game begins. That's and that's heavies versus uh, projectiles in Pac-Man. Yeah, I mean, uh, FD allows for Zaxel to actually use Bowser's really nice full hop to jump over everything, and Pac-Man's anti-airing isn't actually the greatest when pitted up against Bowser's forward air. Yeah, I mean, like regarding like anti-air moves, like there's not really there's not really too many choices you have with Pac-Man. I mean, yeah, like up tilt kind of thing, but like not really. Yeah, up tilt is kind of weird to me. It, it literally can't hit grounded opponents. It's really, a little, it's a little absurd. It's it, it has a hitbox above Pac-Man, but his push box is wider. That's odd. Yeah, up tilt, at least for me, is in contention for one of the worst moves in the game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I would say like I mean it's just like a, it's just a move like I never see like any Pac-Man use like at all. There's that fair, the full hop fair I was full talking about, speed. getting over the hydrant and the projectiles to sort of oppress Pac-Man's lack of hitboxes. Yeah, I was gonna say like speaking of just kill, killer aerials, like Bowser's forward air just like if you want to talk about one one of the better moves in the game, like forward air. It's just, you know, auto-cancel, really fast, really powerful, combos into itself. There's the fire breath. More fire breath. Saxo is, Saxo is adapting very good so far. Like, and he's taking full advantage of the fact that it's really hard to kill, it's really hard to kill as Pac-Man. And especially with the heaviest catch in the game, 192%. And he's so living, oh, never mind. Oh, the apple on the trampoline. And that's one, of, that's one of the cool things about Pac-Man, just all the ledge trapping cheese you can just do with, yeah. with it. I mean, Pac-Man's kill power, I guess, really does come from those items. Like, you have to hit a Clementine or an Apple. Or... That's the orange one, right? Clementine? Uh, yeah, I think it's like a Clementine orange. I, Could be an orange. You're, you're probably, you're probably like around like the right idea. And despite like, despite like the lead Saxel had before, Sinji just Sinji's brought it all the way back. The edge guards not gonna come out this time. And that's just. And like I mean, that's that's, the, that's a mark of Sinji's experience, right? Like, not getting rattled. Bowser is a scary, scary character when he gets ahead. And Sinji kept up the aggression anyway. Yeah, and Sinji's not afraid of not afraid of just pulling the trigger and going in. Ooh, that was an interesting little interaction with the fire hydrant and the neutral B. Down there, not gonna take Good it. Good recovery. Recovery from Saxel, 146 to 100. I would say, like, you know, despite the percentage, like, it's still definitely. In Saxel's favor, uh, I was gonna say, like, Side B can just kill. Sinji like could have held away. And this is. And, like, Sinji has to keep, like, keep this up. And, like. Right. Can he land the bell? No. Get up attack. Beating out the down smash. Now it's up to Sinji to close this stock as soon as possible. Like, yeah, this is this is basically like he cannot get side beat. It, 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 it's either he it's either he takes the stock or he just loses the game because the hydrant coming out to take it at one seventy percent or something like that. It was like yeah, around one eighty. Like that's that's the big thing. Like that's the big thing to keep in mind. Like usually when Zaxel dies, it's at like one hundred fifty percent. It's like at like two hundred percent. It's really high. Like. Oh, good upbeat from Zaxel. If that forward air had hit, he would have been in for a bad time. Yeah, that's the, that's the one thing we can definitely praise about about Zaxel. It, minus maybe minus maybe the first stock at the beginning. His recoveries have been very very proactive and like very adaptive. Oh, oh the combos even percents now in the Gal edge guard. Galga coming in and just gaining the. Gain that back air will kill. Oh, he's trying to go for the forward air. Ooh, going deep! Oh, no! Oh, the laggy option! He put, he put it in there. He had the he had the read. Oh, that was just ooh, that was nail biter right there. My goodness. Yeah, I think he was looking for ledge jump on that one. And yeah, he wanted he wanted to go for the read. He wanted to go for that call out, but instead he called himself out with that with that laggy option. Unfortunate, Sinji taking it 2-0 yep. over Zaxel. Um. Yeah, that's, what a shame because like he, I feel like Zaxel definitely had an idea going, and you know he and he just kept going with the fact that yeah, like I'm at 179 percent, but I could still just I could still just keep going it did, in. It did definitely feel like in that second game Zaxel had like made a decision about how he was playing, and it did go a little bit better, but he never he never got to land a there's a. On, after he had taken a stock, he never really got much extra credit on Sinji. He yeah, it always ended it up being like 10 or 20 percent at a max. And yeah, that was like the, yeah. The difficulty was that is that like you know, 
that's that's the all the other other trade off. Like yeah, like I have a like you have a hard time dying, but like that means I can just die at any second. And yeah, not to mention, Sinji probably did close to six hundred percent that game. Oh yeah, that was that was crazy. Like pro like probably like the whole set. Maybe yeah, like it was like it was it was ridiculous. It, he was going Bowser was going up to almost two hundred percent every time. It was, but now we have um, Ice versus your boy Oni Chan back on the back on the ring. What a what a bracket run he's been having so far. Uh, but but this is a big one too. Like this is this is the encore. Yeah, I mean, like who, who do I root for? Who do I root? The underdog Pac-Man or the encore sponsor? I, I mean, I not Pac-Man. Underdog uh, Game and Watch. Would you say it's an underdog? I would. I mean, in regards to right now, prob probably, but like the momentum, who knows? Both yeah. of them are in winter. He's semis. feeling himself right now. He, Both of them are fiending to go and face Sinji right now and be in that winter final. For sure. Sure. But in terms of the matchup, Palu versus Game and Watch, any um, anything we should look out for? Um. Now, like Palutena, like I mean, Palutena is Palutena. We can we can. Like we can talk about like Nair and all that any day, but the big thing, the big thing, miss or you know, actually kind of wrong. I think big thing, like Mr. Game Watch is <laughs> Mr. Game Watch is small, and that will be that will be a big capitalization for for Oni Chan to use that. Like he can it's go true. for crowd. Palu can't get those Nairs just right out of a short hop most of the time. Yeah, he, like Nair will be a little bit more difficult. Fair will be a lot more difficult to go for. And for sure. And I like the idea oh, the right berry? now. Ooh, that's not like gonna a, take it. That's so powerful, like the, I think maybe I mean like the down smash is. He's fiending. <laughs> Four smash decks in a row. The that, key two framing. Tried to go for it again. Yeah, that's what I like about like that's why I like so far like what I see from these players like they, you know, Ling Ling with the back air, Saxel with forward air, side B, and now Oni Chan with down smash. Like you got like these people. Um, you know, they have, like, that option, like, oh, oh, excuse me, let me just go on, like, for a little flash show, only chance flexing for the people, um, I was gonna say, like, they have that, that's that one option, they'll just keep spamming over and over again, because they know, like, it'll just, beat, it'll just help win. That's it. Like, down smash, that yeah. only chance will be taking the stock. Mm, no edge guard coming out of ice. Did get the two frame, though. Ooh. Ooh. His bucket is full. Will he get to use it though? That's that's also another part of the matchup I didn't no, really talk dead. about. Like the bucket is so underrated because you can get it from explosive flame. The bucket explosive flame interaction is interesting. Oh he keeps the he keeps the bucket charge after death. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of the cool things about the bucket. Ooh, gain gain the rapid jab out. And I mean, it's pretty even. It's pretty even right now. They're just. Yeah. I think the whole game right now is just been kind of like a whole, like a, a poke scenario. Yeah, they, there have not been crazy advantage states quite yet. It. it yeah. It, yeah. Advantage states haven't really been like. It's just been like neutral and who can just get like one big hit that can just lead to the second big hit. Yeah. It, it's just been like one-two punch. Mm. Really. The, really. The Onichan not letting him land though. Get back on stations. This is this has been like an extended juggle after that first up B into up there. Nair into back air, edge guard coming out. Oh, good I, back air from Oni Chan. I definitely see Ice was trying to go for the back air, and I really respect that. But just Mr. Game Watch moves like they're so. The, I would say like the best, the one of the best words to describe Mr. Game Watch is volatile because you know he has these explosive moves, but like. Oh yeah. Not to mention like in actuality, his moves are not telegraphed as much as other characters are. In terms of like while he's moving, it's not entirely clear what he's gonna come at you with. That's just, yeah, that's one of the hardest things. That's one of the hardest things about this game watch because of his whole like little crazy animations and he has. And key kills, Oni Chan up, one stock. Oni Chan, the Keyblade Warrior, you know, trying to look for the Kingdom Hearts. The Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> trying to go for. This back throw is gonna kill. Yeah, him. and that's what I mean by volatile. Mr. Game Watch, one of the wise characters right. in the game. Zero zero. Who's gonna strike first? One thing I I gotta commend both players. They're being like, I wouldn't say like being exactly fully patient to the point of camping, but they they're being disciplined. They're yeah, uh, they both players have high respect for each other, and like oh no, like, that 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 is a mistake. 
Not quite grabbing ledge there. Back air coming out and ledge only, trap. Yeah, only chance just on that ledge trap move right now. Ice, ice neutral got out. neutral got up into Shep, knowing that he was gonna stop. Down throw back air. Oh, Ooh, the hardest of reads and again double yeah. up smash. Yo, is this Mister Game and Watch? Are we or is this the Matrix? Jesus, that was like. Wow. The spot dodge. The moving. Oh my god. Four smash from Palutena saved, saved the last second because it would have been hit by oh, down smash. Oh, down smash getting pulled out. Oh, that's not going to take it. Not the, quite the, yet. Next back throw at the ledge is definitely death. Got to be careful. Ice. Just, yeah, oh, I, back air takes it. Good patience from Ice. He, he could have, he definitely could have went off stage, but he knew just how to be patient, just how to go yeah. fish for that back air, and he taught, he got it, he took it. That movement in front of uh, Onichan's shield was nice because it kind of just puts the fear in you. A back air can come out at any time, and you're never really sure. It's just empty hop after empty hop, and it's always just threatening, waiting for the shield to get dropped. Yeah, and like that's a good, that's good. Like you know, the whole shield pressure from Ice, and like, and he, he's definitely aware about how Mr. Game Watch has. The up out of shield, and you know yeah. he he kept it. He's keeping in space. Like he has like the space and like the pressure where he's not near up B range, and he can just keep advantage of that. Like because you know back air, he has like all red. Yeah, and of course, and not to mention that uh, Palu's back air has invincible frames to like put on top of that. Like it's kind of oppressive when sort of tra ledge trapping because you can't actually respond with an attack a lot of the time. You're talking about Nair, right? No, uh, Palu's back air with oh, the shield. Oh, back air. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that I mean, you know, literally you're just getting smacked hard with a shield. Yeah. You know? I've been beaten out by that move so many times. I've been beating out, like, my soul away from fighting this character. <laughs> <laughs> Nair, 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 you're at 40. Haha. <laughs> oh, oh, like, oh, Nair? Oh, I'll just go forward there now. But anyways, Nair right there. <laughs> 42% right now for huh? only chance. Only oh, still right at now. zero. There's the Nair. Oh. Misses the follow-up because of Game & Watch's up Yeah, Yeah, light, the lightweight is the big the big selling point for this early for this early game. Yeah, he came out above the Nair, which is pretty insane. Even Ooh. percents. Oh, that forward smash. That call out. He knew he was going to key. Down. Two frame with Ledge the downhill. Another two insane. frame. Is he going to do it again? He's going to try up. to go high. No, you can't go high on Palu. Yeah, up air, like, like talking about another oppressive tool. Yeah. Like, Palutena, basically, I, I would definitely say is like the Rosalina of this game, just constantly juggling is the name of the It's game. so hard to get down. It's like, she's got that um, up air that actually has very little aerial lag. And so, like, you whiff your, they air dodge through your up there, and then you fast fall and hit them on the ground because of Yeah, no, you can just do another up air. Yeah, it's, it's... Also, Palu's fall speed and her jump, her full hop speed is, like, just comes out so quick. But, um, Onichan has to take this stock, and Palu's advantage is pretty good, and she can definitely rack up a lot of percent if it's, she's left to live too long. And here's the hard, and this is the hard part. Like, I mean, like we we talked like so much well about Mr. Game Watch, but this is this is the big weak point. He needs like trying to get in. Like his his approach his approach game is like a little a little bit lacking at times. And yeah. Ice is playing much more patient, much more back proactive. Throw. And that back throw was crazy. I, I think Oni Chen had to have been diing down because. It looked like it almost killed at 60. Yeah, like it, yeah, that that di was a little little suspicious. Um, and Oni Chan fiending for the back air, yes. Ooh, that, that, that hit like okay, right maybe, last second. That's the that's the start of him pulling it back. Yo, Ice, put the boy in a freaking dirt, bro. Don't get buried. Don't get buried. Don't get buried. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't let him land <laughs> down, smash. Look at that! Look at that! Let's go, Ice. Let's go, Ice. Let's go, Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him land. <laughs> yeah, I mean everything he said was true. Don't get down smashed. And that and that energy was just capitalized just now. Ice with yeah. the, ice with the really good lead right now. But basically a full stock. I mean ice couldn't hear him, but it, it almost feels like he could. You know, like. Ice, Ice is playing much better this game. He's got a de he's got a pretty significant lead, almost that of an entire stock. Yeah, it's just the download, like you know, 
I think he just has only Chan like right on the team. Only right Chan's now. gotta dig deep for this one. Up air. I wish up air killed. Yeah. Um but I was I mean yeah, it's up air like like definitely definitely like the big definitely the big nerf from like Smash Four to Ultimate like up air because you can I remember just, those those throw combos to up air that were Ooh, whoa, yeah, the two, that two. was scary. Oh, uh, uh, and they're that, not, not going to take it again. Okay. It was below stage. Um, What's going to happen? This, this is time? possible. I mean, I'd love to see a... We, we will have to see. Okay. 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 I'm looking for a down throw nine. Yeah. No. I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. This is, like you're you're not. You got to judge. You you haven't won. You haven't won until Do it. like. Okay. Like. This is now just the prime no! time. Have back. Prime time television in Westchester County is Palutena, though. So oh, we're yeah. gonna get that winners finals. We move. don't we don't get that anywhere else in the world. Oni Chan is not out. You can still bring it back. There is um. You'll not be in losers bracket. Yeah, losers quarters. It's, I mean, there was. I think Ice just had just had the download complete and ready for that second game because I, it was the patience, the like the movement, and yeah, yeah. Back that's just yeah, that's just how oppressive like you know the staff, the huge shield, the staff, the shield, just. I mean, that's why. That's what I mean. Like intangibility is gamer watch is worse than enemy, and yeah. something like sword, something among all those things, it it makes life a little difficult for, for gamer watch. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually don't know how game and watch contests um, Palu's back air. I I don't see the solution to that. Yeah, I think it's. I think I would say like the best option would just honestly just be shielding or just crouching. You know, yeah, trying. yeah. But as as we saw, like on the ledge trap. It's so hard for Game Watch to get around Palu because she can just back air the shield, and if it's spaced properly, like Ice was doing, it's really yeah, difficult. Yeah, and you, yeah, just you can't really get in. Like you have to wait for like you got to you got to just stay in disadvantage and wait for them to make a mistake. I I agree with that statement. So next up we have uh, Ling Ling running it, running it back against uh, Stir the Kid, MTX. MTX Stir the Kid. Same with the Nest. Like character loyalty, both both mm. both players. You know, Ness versus Beach. I don't think I've seen this matchup I, played yet. This and, is uh, not a frequent one, I don't think. But actually, I would say it's probably like a little bit more frequent in Connecticut because you got you got Ling Ling in blank, and you also got um, Tony Pajamas. Well, like you said, 70 out the gate. And I think I would say like Ling Ling. Definitely yeah. has like definitely has that experience with Tony Pajamas like in the Ness matchup. Tony Pajamas like one of the one of the best Nesses mm -hmm. like, around. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ness getting those three up airs does have a great advantage state. Mm. This is almost even. Ness is Ness's crazy damage output has kind of brought this back for him. Yeah, the trick Woo! coming out. Oh Whoa. my God, Stare the Kid. Side magnet to back air. Stare the Kid moving with out that here. down B. Okay, PK uh, magnet. You know, that was attractive. Yeah, that was nice. They got me a little hot. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> PK hot, yeah, <laughs> PK fire coming out. Oh, the turnip almost killing there. Turnip. G good job saving the jump, though, from Stare. Uh, ledge, ledge Trump, no, oh, no response. Forder just getting a little poke needed. Oh my gosh, there the kids moving. Yeah, but Ling Ling was just barely staying out of each of those hitboxes. If any of those had hit, he would have he would have probably got caught in like a 40 or 50 percent combo. That's with a turnip. Honestly, this is like one of the cooler matchups like see because both of these characters are very technical and stitch very face. fast. Stitch and it's face. Stitch face right there. That's oh, this is so scary. All he oh, misses. He whips. Oh my God! Zerda K is just flying all over the place right now. Just he is he is dancing across Ling Ling's shield. Yeah, it's crazy. Like both both of these players are really fast. The shield pressure coming out right now from the up smash. Oh, I love when that happens. It's yeah. so so scary to see though. Yeah, you gotta you gotta roll away from that after a certain time because with those multi hit moves, after they hit 11 times, you are able to roll. Oh yeah, I, thank you Papa Sakurai for that because that would be. <laughs> That uh, that like crossed hitboxes down smash is kind of scary otherwise. 
This is... This is down smash is scary actually all the time. Oh, like, oh, and this game Ooh. is so good in this game. Like, especially that like, you can just... Come. Where did Peach go? Wait, where is... Where, where did... Where, where, whoa! Where, where, did, where did everyone go? Where, what happened there? Like... Did Peach even hit him? No. That was just... I think I think Ling Ling just gave so much fear just at that fear, very yeah. moment. But, <coughs> okay, up air. Up air is just killing at 100, sure. Well, you know... Ness, Ness had that really big brain up air last game. Oh, He's still yeah. really good in this game. I would say, I would say, arguably, yeah. arguably better in terms of just how the hitbox. Eh, no, I would say Smash Four. Smash Four was better. I it mean, it is nice because at low percents you can get like three if you land one. Oh, oh Ness is dead. That, that no. air dodge not quite getting him to ledge. Oh, unfortunate SD coming up from Scary Kid. Yeah. I, it was. There were some ideas going though. Like I can definitely say that. Like there was. The movement was probably the big thing. I think he just, if he just gets that neutral down, just make sure he doesn't get traded, like, doesn't yeah. get hit too hard. He can, like, Well, I mean, I, I, like, it probably gets talked about all the time, but Ness's big weakness is always that recovery, right? Oh, yeah. For and, sure. like, so you, you, as Ness, you always want to just be, like, using your double jump and air dodging the ledge if possible. But the problem with that is Peach's down air, right? Like, Ling Ling kept down airing on the ledge, which meant that, um, uh, Stir the Kid had to like drift out a little bit more, which leads to those kind of stressful situations where you need your air dodge angle to really be perfect. I, yeah, I would, yeah, that, that is the big weakness for Ness, but I didn't really notice a lot of hard edge guarding in that game one. It was actually more like, like, I don't know if you want to call them SDs or more that like Ling Ling kind of just went out there and then yeah. forced kind of Ness to flub his edge, his recovery. Yeah, like, I think it was just like a player to player interaction, like, and just, and like I said, like the whole fear aspect of it. Yeah, it's like he's definitely gonna press a button, and then when he doesn't press a button, it's it's a little scary. And here we are, game number two. Final destination, def Ooh, forward air to back air. Great stage for Ness, like, he could just spam PK fire, he could just spam juggles. Yeah. Can't go wrong with this. Peach does have a great tool against PK fire, though, where she can, like, float at that 45 degree angle, and Ness can't actually like, other than fair, Ness doesn't really have anything to reach her. Like, PK Fire can only be flat on the ground or downward angled. Oh, this is oh! What we're talking about. Oh, Ness. oh, Ling Ling. Ness in that disadvantage. Oh. Oh, Ling Ling. The kid going doing? for all the marbles with that down air. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, comboing into the up air, not killing. Good DI from Ling Ling, that was great. Yeah, the, the ceiling, like, FD has a pretty big ceiling compared to other stages. Oh, up smash, smash coming out, good up call smash, out. Up smash, up, up smash, I'm about to say, my B, but. No, 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 I said, you, you, you got it right, don't worry. Oh, don't, don't worry I didn't even it. know what's going on anymore. <laughs> but Ooh, the two frame with the turnip, responding with a forward air. Oh, Ling Ling is just doing a good job. Just the edge guard, not going to come out this time. Leiling knows like he just needs to play a little bit more like he's oh. playing safer and he just Oh. Oh, whoa. Okay, that was Leiling just carrying him back onto the stage. He's like, okay, I'm not done with you yet. Get back here. Ling Ling was really close to smacking Ness with her crown on that last recovery, but he got um, I think a little scared because the up B had been initiated. Oh. Yeah. Ness forced to up B again, gets the tech. Ooh, good Beautiful good recovery, recovery. from Stair. It's Psy Magnet Nair. And this might be the little momentum shift he, he needs. Oh. Like he's gained the percent, got thirty percent on. Is Ling Ling getting a little nervous? Those two uh, side bees were good trade coming from Ling Ling. And all oh, and oh. I was gonna say Peach was about to do Peach things in about a few seconds, but yeah, side magnet, side magnet trading with Nair right there. Down throw back air. Ling Ling with a pretty steady lead right now. Yeah, Ling Ling got that extra credit. You know, and now he's sitting in a pretty chill spot. Ooh, side B just, side B just out, barely right? reaching. Ooh, that was that the active hit. hitbox kind of messed Ness up there. Oh, back, back throw surprisingly not killing. That's uncharacteristic for for Ness. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, Ling Ling's DI against Ness has been actually impeccable thus uh, far. Yeah, just Ling Ling's DI has just been on point today. Oh, on point to set and I mean at center stage Ness's uh, back throw you want to be dying down and at the ledge you want to be DIing up it's a little weird 
Oh, 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 the forward air. Oh, Ling Ling gets oh the my god, Ling Ling. Ling Ling's angry. Ling Ling is mad. Ling Ling was out there. No fear. I mean, obviously, it was a stock up, but the confidence to do that is. Like, Ling Ling just was like, all right, I, I, I'm done with this. Yeah. Just give, like, the one to clap. That's a player who's, like, pretty secure in their game plan. Ling Ling knew that he had to get the edge guards on Ness, and he, he did what he had to. Yeah, I, f I feel like game one was kind of just seeing how Stair was recovering, because he didn't really go for those like edge guards as much. He was kind of more focusing on ledge trapping, and the, and then game two he just he went in deep. Like he yeah. he knew like he, as long as he just kept like kept that wall of pain on the, by that ledge, he could just win most most of the skirmishes. I mean, yeah, it was it was pretty clear that um. In that match, Ness was respecting Peach's edge guarding ability to a pretty big extent. Like, he was always sort of drifting away with, with his double jump instead of trying to go to ledge, which led to some scary situations. Especially Ling Ling, he very often, like, jumped out and did nothing. Just waited for Ness to, like, sort of anticipate some kind of option coverage and reacting to it. And, yeah, that's a good option to have to have. Like, sometimes you just need to have that mental gymnastics and... You know, also just having like those notes of what what is to happen, like what might happen, and then you know, you get that habit, get those habits down, and just keep going. Yeah, I mean, like, if they can react to you coming out to get them, then just go out there and do nothing, then react to them. It's like a two-pronged mind game, 50-50s. And anyways, we got Mile for Odie Chan. Last time, last time both of these players have met, only Sean did win. Um, let's see what happens now. Mile, um, fill me on a mile. I'm not familiar with him either. Um, Mile, I believe he's Mile Seven, Westchester, eight. All right. Well, yeah. Like the first season, he was around seventh, but he's been leveling up a lot. I don't know. I haven't really like seen him around. I didn't Yoshi. really know too, too much like in the last game, but he he he's been performing very well, like especially here. Um, I I need to go to UD more because like I don't really know what goes on there too much. But game one, we do have the Yoshi. I know I know he plays Joker and I think might Angling, but you know I think Yoshi's just his safe pick. And yeah, I mean yeah, Yoshi has um. Yoshi's similar to Game & Watch in that, like, his uh, forward-facing hitbox is actually pretty slow. But, um, so this would be a, I, mean, I actually have no idea who is, which character is big, but, um, Oni-chan getting that 60% with a jab lock. I don't think I've seen that before on Game & Watch. Yeah, like, one of, the, one of the things I, like, I think I was talking to Oni-chan, like, one of the things he wished was that he can do the jab lock and then do down smash and just, <laughs> just ground them. That would have been... You can, you can jab lock into down smash? No, he, I w he wished that was a thing. That would, that would be broken. That would be, that would, that would be crazy. Oh, trying to go for the down. That's one thing I've noticed, like, I, I play Mile a few times, like, he likes to go for that. For I mean, that, that, that definitely would kill. Oh, it would definitely kill. It, it's it's a fast move. Like, oh. yeah, that's yeah, what, like it, it is. it's fast. Like, it's a good like out of shield option. You can't go you can't go wrong with it. Except oh, there's the, the ground. But we're back to even. Smash four, two stocks. Now, um, no no extra percent from that invincibility and the up B meeting rate to the nair. And it's basically Ooh. it's basically dead even at this point. Like, yep. just just like, pokes. Yeah, just one in, maybe like one little one little smack to like another little smack, but like it's basically just been it's basically been anything. Like, I I've noticed that like these sets like with only chance so far, it's been kind of just like a whole back forth like you know one move gets thrown out. It's not really been like combos like hard like compared to like others or like that you know like, out of shield or crazy like off stage shenanigans. Yeah, I would say it's it's I would say it's pretty. A little difficult oh, to Mile pulling ahead almost by like 40% and then landing that kill move is, um, can Oni-chan pull it back? Vanilla forward smash on the ledge. I would Notice that Oni-chan definitely makes great utilization of that forward air. It is, um, up until now I've been under the impression that it's actually not a great move, but he's convincing me otherwise. It's, it's definitely a hit or miss kind of move because 
its utility is great. Like, you know, a strong, a strong AoE explosive. But at the same time, like, it can be contested very easily. It can be, ooh, that would, that definitely would Oh, the shield. It. Oh, the shield from both the players right now. Yoshi's already taken Onichan up to 100% on his last stock. Yoshi can kill with anything at this point. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, Mile has the full stock. Oh, no, the back wow. air. Oh, yeah. okay, bye-bye. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Anyways, game, game number one taking it, taken by Mile. So this set will be the last set I will be commenting because we got, yep. because we got we're, we're being relieved by a shy guy. Someone who knows what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll let the big boys take over afterwards, but uh, anyway. Pink Yoshi this time. That's bold. Pink Yoshi is dangerous. You got to be careful. Ooh! What is that? He's bringing the boy back. He's bringing I know. out the Olimar. Yeah, so he was an Olimar main in Smash 4. So he does have he does have the knowledge of Olimar on here. And, you know, it, it, Olimar. Like, what, what can you really what, what can be said that hasn't been said about Olimar in this game? I mean, post nerf is Olimar's big representative to Buzz has kind of dropped him, and so he hasn't re recently had many results. But um, let's see what let's see what Oni Chan can do with him. Oni Chan has been doing like um, some interesting stuff with Game and Watch and Ooh, that so shield pressure. Yeah, so far like Miles just ready. Like Miles, like oh, you're not you're not like messing around with me. With yeah, this. Mile Mile looks comfortable. Yeah, he. Oh, the tech. Ooh, good tech though good from tech. from Oni Chan, and like Oni Chan's just having like he's just having a hard time like just keep, keeping like <laughs> hold on stage really. Yeah, I mean, I, I think what Olmar really needs to do here is he, Olmar needs to get under that uh, middle platform to try and stuff Yoshi's aerial approaches a little bit, and then really box like like the up smash forward smash, like try to get things going. Ooh, the call out with the forward air, and I, it's looking, it's looking it's really looking good bad. for Miles so far. Yeah. He's getting, he's just getting combos right. Oh, that was an interesting grab. Like, I mean, what I'm seeing is that Smashville, Smashville, Olimar, Yoshi, Olimar doesn't really seem to have the space oh that my. he's looking for. Oh my god, I. I mean, I don't know about. I don't think Smashville might have been like the best option because yeah. that top platform, which just he gets juggled and just juggling is just the. the Not to mention theme. this is like one of the smaller stages, and it doesn't really seem like um, uh, Oni Chan can actually move away from Yoshi like he needs to. Yeah, I, I feel like yeah, I feel, feel like subbing along the lines of like maybe like Kalos or Battlefield. I feel like someone like Omar. Yeah, you could be up close and do a lot of damage, but like. The main, the main like strafe point is that he can just constantly wall out with Pikmin yeah, and then punish hard. When it's all about getting the seventy percent without actually having to touch them. You know, it's oh, but here we are. Ooh. That's a fifty percent combo. Oh, only trying to like gain six. He has a purple. He has a purple. Yeah, he ha he has some good like a good lineup right now, but oh, that was that was that was so Ma confident Ma by went, Mile. Ma Crazy for their edge to the guard. Blue. Only trying. Out at fifth place, though you cannot, we cannot like miss out that he did send Ling Ling losers. I'm done. I'm done commentating. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let the big.
Yo, and what's up, guys? Ow. It is Phantom and me. Shy guy? Shy guy. <laughs> me. Here for another rousing round of commentary with our boys, Ling Ling from Connecticut, a very talented Peach player, who I think all of you know, versus Zaxel. A, uh, he used to in X, Riddly Main, who now chose Bowser because Bowser's a better character. And uh, he's been seeing a lot of success in the meta, you know. Leon's good. Leon is very good. Leon's a very good player. Um, now let's see this. So I, I actually do know in history, Wing has some uh, trouble with heavies. I know when he played C, he lost to him. And then when he played 43 damage, that's 44. That was one move. He hit the B button. Hit. I'm pretty sure you said that move was bad. I did say <laughs> that move was bad. That, you got to take that back now or later? No, 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 no. I'm not taking that back. Okay, take that back later then. That's fine. Um, see, that more. That was like 20 damage. See, Ling is... What? what? <laughs> He's all Ling's eyes. Wait, what? I <laughs> they popped out of his head. They were like, huh? Dude, wow. Nerda up is so okay. good. Uh, with... But Bowser. Bowser? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nerda Upper is Nerda crazy. Upper, actually, an another confirmed you might Nerda not know about. Yeah. Uh, no, not Nerda Nerda Backer? Backer? What? Nerda Backer? What? Nerda Side B. Are you kidding? That's a, a kill confirm, yeah. What was that down? That was weird. He actually gets a really good hit of Nerda confirm into a grab. But, wow. Oh my god, you saw that splash of box? Stop with the landing big, <laughs> like the stalling falls. They're good, but stop. Oh, they're working. Yeah, I, I agree. Plus, Bowser doesn't really have many of the landing options besides, like, Nair. This is it. a big thing, like... The nerfs of Peach, I think they, they weren't that bad, right? She's still a very good character. I, I still think she's the best, maybe. That's good. But, like, I, I may agree. Yeah. But my point is, like, the thing that was nerfed decently hard, I, I guess, was her kill power. So your yeah. back throw doesn't kill as early. Her fair doesn't kill as early. Back they throw is, fair. like, really not that good now. Yeah, like, that's it's just straight up not a kill. Throw. It kills, like, 20% later than it used to. Yeah, just, and it was already not, like, throw. super strong. Yeah, it was, like, it was, it was decent. It was good. But now it's just not even a kill throw. Straight up. Yeah. Um, Which is big, especially in a matchup like this where Bowser's survivability yeah, Bowser's is crazy good. is the heaviest character in the game, for those of us who don't know. And, yeah, that fair totally would have killed three times. But now it's not going to. Side beat? I'm shocked. I'm for Outsmash. Maybe he's drifting a normal get up. He's definitely yeah. Is, right? Yeah. Get up jump also might have been caught by the up smash, which is like how Link finds a lot of his kills. Just look at this. Like every stock, he starts with a fire breath. And it's like that, that that was 25%. That's like a combo for most characters. Still, you think Link would, you know, see it coming by now. That was a strange fire breath. I don't really love that one. Hey, he hit a jump. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually another big nerf for her. Wow, that kill. That was not great DI. No, it was not. See, here's exactly. the thing, right? What? I, I want to talk about that. Side wait, wait, wait. Side so it's, beaners, right? It's, it's a bad move. It's a bad move. It's side beaners, right? You know, it, it used to be <gasps> so that, like, every time she side beat your shield, she can just get a free nair and you'd be, and, you know, be whatever, unless you parry the nair. Oh, oh, I love that God. up smash. That was really smart. Wow, that was intelligent. Yeah, that's really good. But yeah, no, uh, it used to be able to uh, just, like, side beat nair and just be totally fine. Now, instead of having the nair to be fine, you can just drift back, and you're still yeah, fine. Yeah, you're still not punished, <laughs> but like she could get every out of shield option yeah, with her now, fade down nair. Now she doesn't Dragon Ball Fighters block string yeah, you on side Yeah, she has no like, straight up block strings like traditional fighting games might have. But she still is really safe on that move, and you can't punish it. You can't punish it, but, you, but you're not going to get hit for getting hit by it on shield. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's still crazy good. It's, though. it's still amazing. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong for one second. And then e Peach floating, like, or drifting back is already a scary situation yeah. because of the uh, aerial, like, mix up she has. Okay. Interesting. You're on the light. Fire Yep. And his shield is already down. That, that was, like, even though it didn't hit, not bad. Just like. Oh, okay. That's okay, a lot that's of damage. Good. Bowser's model is too big. He didn't fall off the pla platform at all. Wow. Ooh, I like that attempt. I don't know why he didn't just, like, go for the ground because he couldn't move until he was at the ground there. Josh and I just have, having a lot of lag in this game. I mean, I guess they had a lot of lag in. Melee too, because you just free fall. Yeah, you Whatever. die. Yeah. Right. Downer. Okay. I think he's playing a lot more of like the the traditional Peach way, which is, in my opinion, what, what that means is like floating past the distance where a short hop aerial would be, like on top of that. So you you have to kind of commit a little more to try to hit. Him. I do like that Zaxel's not really falling for the baits that Lang's setting up with his floats, though. Like, he's not trying yeah. to go up and hit him for it. He's just hanging out and waiting he knows, for like, to stop. Yes, I'm losing. I have not lost a stock, so I'm not losing yet. Because I'm the heaviest character in the game, and I can kind of do that. I'm waiting for, like, a Randy forward smash. 
Uh, there's the Randy option. He takes 20. Oh my goodness! Nice pressure after that. Thought that thought he was going for that fair for sure. Oh, wow, that was good. He like didn't land with an aerial. He just landed and jabbed and like went back. He's probably dead. Oh wow, Ling didn't go off. Yeah, he didn't throw the, the turnip right either. Back air. That was that was fine. That yeah. Well, he that's uses down smash good. more than yeah. every other beach. It's like it's a good hitbox. You're dead. Maybe dead. Oh, I no, thought he was on the platform. platform. Yeah, I think the wing had more control than that. That was a weird movement, and then he went off stage. What did you call it, though? He's, he's definitely got this one, though. Yeah. 208%. This is, again, uh, the, the big thing that was nerfed was kill power, and Bowser likes that a lot. I do uh, not. That was definitely not intended yeah, to do the other way, for sure, for sure. And I, I think he was in the trajectory to get, like, at least burned by it a little bit. So I think that that was, that was a big miss. Plus, just losing a stock in the matchup is a big deal. Yeah. Like, for Bowser, missing a kill is okay because you can get another kill option. But for Peach, missing a kill is going to mean a lot because she's not going to kill. See, this you is what I... got touched one time and you're off stage and took 70%. And See, now it's even though. That's the thing, right? Is like... Ooh, wow. That caught him? Yeah, that's the thing. Is like we talk about, you know, unless Bowser's dead, he has no... Unless Bowser's dead, Peach has no... Uh, or he has no... He's not losing. If you're not killing Peach and you guys are on the same stock, it might just be like you're both a kill percent now. Yeah, it's, it's true. Because like, she, you know, she doesn't have like zero to deaths or whatever. What? 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 So he dares opposite side. He tries to get the frying pan. He doesn't get it. And then he turns her. What are you? I love that so much. It's so good. It's really good. I mean. Nice fair. I think Ling just has to challenge it. I think, I think he's, he's, he's out of a foot and out of a. Nah, that was kind of an obvious one in my opinion. Wow. Side B like connects but doesn't hit him. I, that's weird. That was a bad fire. He's getting a little predictable with these fire breaths. They're it's, it's they're really good. It's a good option, but I think you gotta just you have to make sure you can't get punished for it. That's yeah, he, dot eyes. Yeah, he doesn't want to just waste that turn up. Yeah, then again, does. you also can't like tunnel yeah, you vision. Can't just play turn up. Like he's tweeted about this a little bit. Or he just like plays two turn up. Uh, Focus when he has a turn up. He still has aerials. He still has grabs. Still has whatever. And he should still be playing neutral with the turn up. You right. Know what I mean, that happens with a lot of projectile characters, like Link and stuff. If you pull a bomb, you start playing just around the bomb, and, you know, and not right, like right. all your other moves. And air up, air Even Snake. Really? Yeah. Good. Uh, great stuff. Ooh, that's big. That's stage. That's back air. Oh, oh wow. Does, he actually has straight in so he can get an air instead, but he texts it before it comes out. He's definitely not. Yep. We're gone. <gasps> what? He's living. What? That was. That was such a weird fair. Yeah, that was below him. That was a that was really crazy, odd dude. corner. Huh? Wait, it's not no. Only oh, the finals. Only the finals, that. boy. I didn't know that. Hey, hey, that's uh too bad. What? That's uh too bad. For context, uh, that's uh too, guy had too money bad. On it's too bad, like T O O bad. It's too bad for you. It's not. It's not like a, a complex joke. It's just I'm saying that it's too bad that you lost. Nothing. Never mind. We're going back to game. Game. Uh, the next one. Yo, oh, yo, Zaxel. Zaxel. Stop, Zax stop, stop shouting. Zaxel. Zax. Oh. This is heartwarming. That was good stuff. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like Link pretty, played pretty soft here. Uh, do you think? I think he got tunnel vision. Maybe a little bit. Like I think he was looking for his combo openers too much, and he was. A lot of people don't like to challenge Peach up B like that, you know. Like uh, he, it was a, in my opinion, it was a bad idea. To what? To challenge, to challenge it? it. Well, I mean, it worked, sure, but I still think generally, like he threw himself off stage and got rid of his. Well, like, <laughs> Oh, these two played a Paramount. Sinji, it was very, very close according to my uh, T.O. man. And T.O. man. It is, it is, it is going to be a real... Wait, were they, was he playing Joker? Joker and Wolf. Okay, so we can definitely see the Wolf come out if the game one doesn't go great for him. But I don't know anything about the matchup. You're a Joker player. How about you tell me a little bit about what you know? All right, well, here's what I know. I know nothing about the matchup. I've awesome. never played a Pac-Man in my life with Joker. Uh, I played Sinji at pound with not joker and i got destroyed and i have so i have no idea how this goes in theory i imagine joker wins because joker is not only the better character but also can put up with projectile spams pretty well 
but like Pac-Man and Sinji are also really good at baiting those out and getting good grab punishes because in this game, uh, uh, Pac-Man has those. So you know, it, 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 that, you know, with the caliber of player that Sinji is, he's gonna know how to play around that pretty well. Yeah, I agree with that. I, okay, so he, he gets hit by the first hit of, of, of the Galaga, but he can actually reflect the next one. That's pretty interesting to know. I mean, of course, if you like, it, it goes right the into the ground, so it's like pretty bad. Yeah, but like, you just don't get hit by it. Whoa, he flew into the what? Okay, I, that was a lot of weird stuff going on. He flew into the Pac-Man up B, and like, it canceled what? What? Oh, did he run out of our center? No, it's just that he had. You know, he ran out of center a while ago. Oh, really? But he didn't have the stall on the uh, grappling hook anymore. Okay, I got you. Nice combo. Nice big damage. Um, yeah, but he he flew into the Pac-Man up B, and like it canceled the up B and made him jump on the, the trampoline instead. That's interesting. Wouldn't have thought that's how that would, be, that would interact. The counters would have maybe a little bit panicky. Hmm. This is like. This is Sinji knowing exactly what Ice wants, and Ice trying to get it anyway. Yeah, I think Ice is looking a little too hard for a kill right now. I think that now is not the time that you kill. Even but with Arsene, I think, like... Wow. That's death? Pa death dude. Is so strong, Yeah, Pac-Man F-Smash is... Was, I'm, I'm fairly certain that it's, like, the same strength that we'll see in an F-Smash had. Pac-Man's good, dude. Pac I'm telling you this character could be top tier. I've been saying. Like, that, that's the wackest thing. If you went back in time and said Pac-Man's going to be a high tier, like, trust me, he's gonna, I, I, I would have been like, no way. And if it told me he had the exact same grab, too, like, obviously it's not the same. It's, it's so much better, Of course, dude. Well, like, it's the same idea. I, 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 I would have called you a liar. Sinji's out here. Sinji's been out here. Truther. Sinji's always been out here. Like, he's what? been playing Pac-Man at the top level for, like, a long time, though. Do you think, because I don't see this game happening. Do you think Wolf? I think Wolf. This I is a best out of five, so he has some room to mess around. Is that more of a reason to play Wolf or less of a reason to play Wolf? No, it's fine. Is that more or less of a reason to play Wolf? I think it's more of a reason to play Wolf. He's dead. dead. Damn, dude. Slapped up. That was rough. He just couldn't find a kill at all. Yeah, um, uh, I think like a lot of the camping that... Pac-Man can do, Joker can deal with because he can just like Rebels Guard and like get Arsene, that's great. But if he plays kind of like the Paging game where he's like waiting to throw projectiles and if he sees a, a Rebels Guard, he gets a grab and now Pac-Man has a combo throws. There's also, there's crashed. more to it than he gets Arsene and that's like, okay, yeah, I have Arsene now. You, can, you still get Walt. Yeah, you, you still get cans. It's alright though. But you got, yeah. Like you said, you got other games to toy with. It's best of five. Yeah, yeah. City. There's uh, stuff to do. Talk to me about the counter pick. Uh, I honestly don't like the stage at all for Joker, but I see people counter pick here a lot as Joker. That's weird. I'll throw look for a back air. I nah. think he's getting a little antsy with these rebel guards. And of course, Sinji being the top player that he is, he knows he like he knows that's like how the counter play for. Uh, Joker in the camping. matchup, yeah, yeah, and so he's gonna play around that. I, I, I do agree. That up there is really solid. Wow, 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 Wario. No, <laughs> that was that was sick. disagree. So he up there twice, and then he's like, I don't but have see, any team true out of this. He's not getting those like confirmed rebels yards, like when the hydrant was coming at him. All right. He's not taking those chances to fill up the, uh, the meter, but like. Then when he's then when he's not confirmed that he'll get it, oh he'll try for it anyway, and then he'll get punished for it. I I, I do agree with you. Okay, that was the wrong way on that. Sinji's Sinji face. Head. Yeah, he, was, he, he, was, he looked like I'm a terrible player. <laughs> <laughs> he looked Why like he I was play? already down a game in two <laughs> <Yeah>. stocks. <laughs> he's doing key the wrong way, man. It's fine. He's just making up on one, dude. Maybe he's worried about it. Falling down on Town and City, someone get, getting oh, man. his key. I just and killed some like innocent civilians. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like worried about you know, someone getting the key to like his house. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's crazy. Rebels like, Guard. The locks, he so. stopped the Rebels Guard early. That yeah. hurts to see. But he got our center anyway, so he's, he's yeah, okay. Yeah, then he lost stage. I agree, obviously, but like he could have died and he didn't. That trampoline right there, and if a Pac Man's trampoline then holds you behind it, really hard to deal with. You don't deal with it. You just you, you back away. Hey, God. I respect it. That, the dash attack has too high of an angle. You can't hit so so back air. Okay. Looks for a really deep so back air. There you go. Oh, there we go. That's 130 the actually killing. I'm decent, decently surprised given how, how heavy Pac Man is. Back air is strong. I, I, it's, it's pretty strong. No, 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 no. no. It's not like it's pretty strong. Joker's it's just strong. Kid. 
He's just shooting gun. He's like, whatever, have the ledge. Or uh, get off ledge. Shout out to Joker gun matchups. Ice trying to make it. Oh, Ooh, wow. Sinji I like that. Sinji is just running up to him and waiting. He's like, you're going to Rebels Guard? All right, grab. You're not going to do that? All right, I'll throw Pick off. It's really, really good. It's Very really close good. to Arsene, which is pretty much the win condition for this stock to get a lead. Oh, but he can't Isaac tunnel coming in. Apple coming in, losing stage. Apple. Oh, what? Is that back there? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Sinji's tricky, dude. You can see Ice is holding in. He's gotta. He needs to make the use of this Arsene. Oh my god, the slow. That's a terrible move to get killed by. Just like the last possible so frame slow. of like the Kiwi. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. Shout out to Kiwi. I'm so pissed off you said that. It's Pac Man. No, because she gets pissed off when people make that oh, joke. Really? Yeah. I, I'm not trying to make you angry for watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um. That, was that Save on Jill? That was really, like, that reverse up air? Yeah, because Joker's grabs garbage, so yeah. Wow. That's so weird. These guys are playing so weird. I mean, since you're playing so weird. Dude. Yeah. So, Aegon on the on the Hydra, not actually good because it doesn't give it the poison. It, no, yeah, it does, I think, like, six. five damage or six, six maybe. Damage, yep. Yeah. And I don't know what angle it'll... What? You need a pellet? Dude, that trampoline? Oh, no, nah, that trampoline? Oh, trampoline? Gone. <laughs> trampoline got body destroyed. See, uh, that spike out of desperation, even if he got it, he was going right into the trampoline. Yeah. Hmm. So, Wolf? What? I like that. It didn't work, but I, I like I, it. I, I do too. Jab, jabs. Uh, I feel like Cindy's gonna start looking for like Bell or F Smash. It's worth or Bell into F Smash. Mentioning that, like he he's ice is around halfway through Cindy's quote unquote life bar, and we're well over halfway through the game's time limit. Yeah, like, that's about right. If Ice is to win this game, he needs to be aggressive about it. And I think that he might know that. That's why he's trying to get this kill on the edge right now. I was just like giving him the ledge like the, in, in the past. Kind of needs to go in. It's weird. Oh, the hydro stuff, right. That's all he's doing with that Paramount. So oh, apparently at that Paramount, he died to a, a Hydra and F-Smash. So that's uh, why he went for that. Okay. Give him the, 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 the one, two PTSD. Are you signaling to run it back? I don't think he'll stay Joker. Yeah, I think he's probably going to change the wall. I think, least I think try it is, in winners. I think finals. that's a smart decision. I, I agree with you because then you have more data, assuming he gets into grand, which is likely. Is Miles still in? Did Miles lose yet? I hope not. Jackson and Miles are. He stayed uh, Joker. Uh, I don't know how much I love this decision. Three, two, Only one. because. In grand finals now, you don't know. Like maybe he's just saying, "I'll try the Joker to its com to its completion for a whole best of five, and then if I get to grands later, I'll just play Wolf." Maybe he's like, "Joker's clearly not working. I can now focus on on the Wolf." You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Then that might be it. See, here's the thing, though. This is this is the most cursed timeline. If he like gets close to winning this game, it's true. And then it's like he gets to the grand, and he's like, "But it was Especially so close." Cool. Especially if he wins a game, and then like game four yeah, last yeah, game, yeah, yeah. then like, what do you do? You're confused. I'm confused. Well, then you just play Joker. If you got a game, and then someone's close to play Joker, then you feel good about yourself. Well, I don't know, because like you still lost the first two. We're Whatever. You won the next. You right. won the Fine. You win this game, and then kind of get hands in the next game. Yeah, then you play both. You play both. Right. Yeah. He's like, you just assume he's playing bad one game. He's getting hit by all this. Chip damage stuff. It's like such a big deal. I'm confused why Joker would ever tell Arsene to return. He tells him to return. Hey, game balance. That's true. He's like, I, I, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to get nerfed. He's gonna get nerfed anyway. No, he's not. People are complaining for Joker nerfs all the time, dude. He's getting nerfed. Uh, people complain about Paul's anymore. Oh, I like that. He just committed. He's like, nah, I'm just gonna hold this Rebels guard, and you're gonna try to hook towards me. And he did. That Hydra did not kill, and he's at 173 right now. Ah. That's so scary. Like, I'm assuming Ice doesn't play versus this character very much. A trampoline and an apple, I don't even know what that does. Like, I don't know what the goal of that is. But what it's I do know is up. I'm going to die if I choose the wrong option. Yeah, you know it's new, new get up is what it does. Because so you, like, you're, you're before you can act, yeah, before you can act your force into trampoline, and then that combos into the apple, apple and then you die. Apple. Apple. Hey, apple. Good lord. 
Yeah, okay, if he wants to kill you, Oh, you no, get... I thought I'll throw up there. Did he meant to... Oh, is he, he dead off that? No, yeah, I didn't think so. Talk about too heavy. If he, got the, if he got the upper offer, wow, he, he has a lot of drift on that. When you side, side B, B you oh, yeah. Like, wait. Dude, Pac Man's recovery is crazy good. Yeah, you can't mess with it either. It's just good. Yeah, he's still looking for stuff right now. He's looking for like Randy F. Smash. Charge, uh, charge Smash Tech, not a viable option versus like any competent player that knows that you can just like or just hit the A button. I'm going to say specifically Pac Man. Like, no, just like just any character. Characters. They all have ledge cap. They all have ledge tech. That's true. Back I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna add something. You mean like add Joker? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Guns? Nothing? Why not use guns to like mess with them on the way up just in case? Like, Because you, then damage. you're throwing yourself off stage. No, I'm not, not saying like go all the way down. It's like blast from the top. Because you're still, you're still forced to ah, do it. still cool. alive? Dude, this is. He's taunted. Yeah, he's like just accepting like this is so dumb. And then, you know, not anything wrong with the, this. What? Are you kidding me? That's unfortunate, dude. He wants to kill so bad. You can see but, like, this, you can is, see this isn't even like a man, I want ice to win. It's just like a, this is just like sad. He like hit a kill move and it didn't connect. That's yeah. Just, and that's just like in any matchup, in any character, moves should connect. Uh, I agree. That oh. was a bold catch. I'd, you think that was on purpose? Absolutely not. <laughs> If it was with your god, like, oh, I thought he hit him. He Back throw, the finally takes the kill. Yeah, at 172, we are, huh? Oh, yeah, I was I was uh, about to go into that. He's one-third through his health bar, quote-unquote, and we are at halfway through the time limit. There's, uh, it's very hard right now. He's got to not take that much percent on the stock while taking... Pac-Man can't get gimped or, no, like, rage James because he's, like, so heavy. That's the difference, yeah. And then Joker can get both of those Joker things. Joker can get games in his recovery, while certainly not bad at all, is exploitable. Man, this is weird. He's got like a Smash 4 core in recovery, where you can call it bad because it's gimpable, but then it also is like kind of hard to mess with. It's kind of hard to mess with, and like it goes decently far and stuff. Yeah. Uh, jo Joker goes pretty damn far. Oh, look for a dare off Smash. That's, he, he that's needs, the wing condition. That, yeah. this, he's, he's tied this. He's not yeah, he's tied definitely playing. Game. Well, he's pretty much tied this up if he can get a kill. Fair? Stage fight? What? Oh. Not sure he knew how that trampoline worked. He actually, you know, that was a good idea. I, I would have done for like a fair, which was a, a terrible idea. What, what he tried to do is like, he knows he needs three jumps from Pac-Man to make this work. What? Wait, who won uh, Wonton? And They're making more side beds for context. Zion. Who won? Okay. But yeah, no, that was. So well, what are we at? I think that 10? was Ice, I'm, like, I'm not up. deciding between two options that both seemed like good ideas. So. Neither really worked out for him. Yeah. But, like, yeah. both would have been. Wait, wait, like, Fortnite would have been fine. Trampoline would have been fine. He kind of decided uh, both were good options, so he tried to mesh them, and it resulted in his death at 46%, or whatever that was. Uh, they played winners. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. No! Wait, what? No! 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 We've been waiting for this. You know how... All right. It is so rare when we get to, to commentate. If if I bet you, will you let me commentate? Andrew, please. Give me odds. I'm the, I feel victimized. I have been victimized. Yo! What is GOG? Are you betraying TA? Are you cheating on the Tails Alliance? That's incredible. That's crazy. Mayo is... Oh, yes! Let's go! The TO took off the GOG. It's just Tails Alliance. Tails Alliance, the best crew in Westchester free. There's only two. I know. And we're, and we're the best. It's like saying, oh, there's only two sides of the Civil War. They're yeah. both very important. I, you're right, but this I, those aren't comparable. In this situation, I wouldn't say that either crew from Westchester is important. Uh, it's debatable, at best. So we're okay. going to see Bowser Yoshi. Actually, we may see Inkling. Did, did these guys play? Ever? They played the winners. Who won? Uh, Zaxel. He hates Yoshi Bowser. He's talking about how he, he thinks it's hard. So let's see what happens. Where where they go? PS2. All right. Head off the summit, man. This song is trash. I agree. Dude, Gen 7 music's not good. Yeah, I agree. These two body one another. 
Miles' combo game or I should say Yoshi's combo game is really good, especially on characters that can't really land. But you know what? Like Bowser can land in this game straight up. Like Darren down B are like really good options. Darren in particular is just super solid. You saw him doing it a lot versus Wingling, and it just worked. Nair up air, you're dead, super early. That's a big deal. Both these characters live a long time. Oh my, too. see look at that. There to side B. It does more damage than anything else. If I know anything about um, Zaxel, is that he, he he knows for sure what the optimal combo is for his character. He's a lab rat. Dude, Bowser's broken. Bowser's heavy. Wow, fair. Did not get the spike he wanted, but it did not get the spike he wanted, but it does kill him anyway, so that's, that's pretty good. I, I, I liked that parry on the downbeat. I did. That was really good. That was, that was good, and then he comboed it into a Ooh. ton of damage. See, Miles is the kind of player where he really only needs like a single opening to get like 90%. Oh, agreed. And there it is. That's, that's, that's a lot of damage. percent. Oh, oh, jabs? What? You reacted. That was just a lot of spaghetti from... Uh, both players, really. Yeah, I actually do agree with you. That's a lot of damage. Do it again. Whoa. Oh, he's at the, the one where, like, he, he did the, uh, the stall. Did not do the fall. Yeah, the, the stall might fall, maybe? The stall installed. <laughs> That's an annoying move to get hit by, too. It is. It just takes a long time to be like, oh. Like, yeah, I know. It's like, I Fire guess. Breath, I understand. damage. Oh, my goodness. He's relentless on these juggles. Relentless, I say. Fair, not I like dead. that. He's not dead, but he might die from the edge of What? Surprise, shock, dazed and confused. He was, he, he, he was looking for like a fair on the like turnaround fair, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, dog, to catch the world. plays like the most intelligent oh. four year old on the planet. I, I agree with that, ac that accurate uh, assessment. That's the most accurate thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, he plays these heavies and such like. Base ways, but in the best possible ways. He plays like he plays like C does, kind of. I think he's a little more optimal than C. I agree. C is like a little more about like I know this read, I got it. Shout out to C. Shout out to C. If, if you, you don't, if you do, yeah, if you don't know C, he's a he's the best player West in Westchester right now. Besides the ice, but yeah, he's a DK player from Westchester who, once he is able to go to more things, will probably do very very well. I should have thinks that he's like definitely a top three DK. Dark, Dark Samus? Samus? Miles, Mile. Mile can play Thank anyone you. he wants. Falco? He's actually smiling. He's like, I know, I, I know what to do. Now, this matchup sucks for Bowser. Are you serious? Yes. Falco wins this. <laughs> Falco combos the crap out of him. Off a of grab, off an up tilt, off of whatever. Off an up air? Okay, reverse up air, and now you're in the loop. What a loop. 45 damage is a lot of damage. Bowser gets that off one off one neutral air. Yeah, but you, you, you can't compare the damage you're doing to Bowser with like your your, your damage output because you'll just lose. I guess, time. but like Falco's no, neutral is also no, subpar. Bear. No, no bear. Okay, just throw up air. Oh, I like, I like really that reverse up tilt. Yeah, I agree with you. Up the other shield. Honestly, just like in every Smash game, just a top tier option. And an infuriating option at that. Oh yeah. Shine? Why? You added two damage. Disjoint, I guess. That's good timing. That's great timing. Yeah, it's also active for like 10 frames, so. Yeah, but like the weak hit's not. That's true. That's or true. the strong hit doesn't matter. That's true. Up he's good. No tech chase, I he does like the, the, the spot dodge to get up. Spot dodge because he knows. That's so much damage. Getting hit by that is so annoying. I would imagine. He's in up to bear range. Goodbye. Oh, wow. Oh. Ah, oh, he'll be up to but not the bear. This is rough. I'm supposed to try to like Inkling or something. Jesus, this is looking rough right now for Mile. Falco does not seem to be the pick. Weak is, back here. Is it three? Yeah. Aww. He needs something right now. He needs several Twitter Falco combos that he are all the, the same. He needs one right now. No, he, 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 needs, he needs Ash Guard is what he needs. He hasn't gotten any of those. Falling there, not real. Combo not working. No, it is real. It's a true combo. Back air. Oh, I like this. I like that. I like nice. It. Up throw, up air, up air. Does he just doubles him on the first one? He threw away safe, but he got it back. Nah, 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 he might throw it away again. 
Why are you rump smashing? I'm telling you. Kill, dude. Charging smash attacks at the edge for ledge pressure isn't ledge pressure. Uh, Ivysaur exists. Yeah, okay, Ivysaur's broken, though. Wow, what a touch. What a touch. Dare? It's like a melee sheet. Weak dare? Is this just confirming? To no! He totally threw that dare. Alright, pal. I'm surprised I did that. I'm, I'm, I would have bet $100. Zaxel was going to reverse edge guard that, for sure. This is nice, a. Nice I'm not gonna say even game, but it's it's, it's it can it's, be off, it's off close. Off a head or two. He's now in the kill range. Ouch, dude! And Bowser back here, such a meaty move. You're dead. Ball jump? No. Yeah. Oh wow, he missed the timing. Okay. So the, he did he did a slight angle to throw off the timing. That was really good. I see light do that a lot. Oh god. Okay, he's could have definitely got that. So can, ah, well, this is so scary though. Kill. Oh. Like Whoa. Lit up there. That was really good. What are you doing? Are you kidding? No, that was really bad. And Zach's why I had the control of the trip. Yeah. That was a really bad option. I don't. He was like in the middle of a, a potentially game winning combo. I respect the option if he followed the air dodge. Even if he did. Like, no, that would have been. Because Uppy has the very minimal lag when you land with it. How many odds? Bro, are you kidding me? For context, they are side betting yet again. I'll, I'll, hey, hey, hey. I'll, I'll give you. Three to one odds. I I get ice. Three to one odds. Ten to one odds. Yeah, Zach's is revenant. Forgot about that. Wait, what's ENC? Encore. Ah. Yeah, Encore sponsoring ice. You watch this, you watch this Zion? Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I thought it was That was not... <laughs> Dude, that was not your best performance. You go up to someone... Oh, wait. You lost to X person? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yo, yo, yo. I'm betting 10-1 odds on you, so please win. I'm betting 10-1 odds on you, so... Everyone in Westchester has a gambling. Edition. I know Zion. Like, don't come to oh, Westchester. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, I don't know. Hey, hey, Artisan, I'm up 25. Can we commentate? <laughs> There's no match going on. Can we get to talk about the players? I can't wait to talk about these players. All right, well, let's talk. Okay, so first off, everyone in Westchester has a gambling addiction. Second, no, I gave them a gambling. Second, second. Palutena. Me, me and Artisan. Uh, Palutena. I agree with that one. Uh, I'm surprised he's not going Joker. Best five, yeah. I like this option though. Now I get to watch Ice Power. And I love hey, watching Ice Power. I'm, I'm currently up 25. 25. I know it's this bet here. And the other. Oh, we can't commentate. There's no game. Okay, okay. So let's do this. See, that's that's the hidden tech about this matchup is that until. Oh my God. Yeah, until around. Uh, this percent, uh, you cannot nair Bowser. He will tough guy through every hit except for the last one. Also, in, he, it's the thing, he actually tough guy through the explosive flame, but like he didn't have enough uh, time, I guess. Wow, okay. He didn't have enough time even after the tough guy to get out of it, so he just got hit by all the whole, whole, whole thing anyway. Because tough guy, there's still like a bit of stun time, and I think that's the, what happens there. Ooh, I like that back here. Yeah, it was good. Down tilt. No. Oh, messed up timing. Actually, that's that, that's, that's when you go off from there. Exactly. That's when you trade from there. He's going for these stuff right now. He's going to see if he needs that, you know, edge guard stuff after maybe losing the game or like being down a stop. I'm yeah, assuming now. Zaxxon knows oh, wow, that. Uh, yeah, he knows it like the back of his hand. It's just he's not good at it. Well, that's I'm tragic. not even going to say he's not good at it because he probably is. It looks like he is. Did, 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 I don't think he has a win on any of the top college tennis. I can change. What? I like a change if you count ice. I, no, I totally count ice. That was a. That fair, was an up air. Right, you bang on who? Oh my god. Give me. Here. Five. Good up tilt. See, I can't, I can't see the screen right now because Shy Guy's a moron. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh my god! Oh, okay, that was not a directional air dodge. He almost did the, 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 the Mr. R. 
where oh. you start neutral areas and then he just like yeah. air dodges off a low percent and dies. But it was it was a uh, air dodge, so he's fine. So that's that's a thing we keep seeing him do is fire breath off the edge, which is bad. It may, maybe it is, but it keeps working. I like the pack though. Down till quarter. It's oh, such a that's free no, play. but yeah, he's so going for a back air. Yeah, but like, that's the thing. <gasps> Why? There was no reason to go for that yet. Nice up smash. That was good. That was good. See that? That's no. That would have killed the F smash. Really? Yeah. Wow. Palu F smash is really strong. It? Yeah. But okay. um, that's the thing. It's like Ice is going for like things that work. No, don't. That's spike. not what you do. You don't need to come back that hard yet. Yeah. Spikes are when you're very, no, well, are when you're very ahead or very behind. Yep. Not in situations like this where you just kind of need to get a kill kind of soon. It's the worst way to throw a lead and the worst way to throw like to, to make a lead that the opponent has e even worse. Yeah. See, also, that, also that have was like a, a confirm. Very easy one to throw out. You know? Like, Hop Hop Tennis is pretty risky. Yeah. Palu, oh, wow. like, Ice's Palu seems like it's good, but it just seems like it's, like, kind of missing the easy stuff. I think it's just that he doesn't play her as much as he used yeah. to. And I think that's, like, Run a big thing. Uh, oh, I wow. Th wow. I think he meant to Nair. I think he just grabbed Lead by accident. I, I, I also think Zach's like, and, and he anticipated the Nair, and, like, that's why he didn't, like, he didn't even mash anymore. Right. He was, like, predicting the Nair. He was like waiting for it to trade and maybe having to up the again, so he was like waiting to react to that. He was definitely Rough spot. I don't know why I thought Back he was dead. Yeah, you, come on. He wants a forward air or a side B. Is that Jackson angle up? He's nice one. Wow, okay, you call that. You're still fine. That's such a good red shot for He's not doing the uh, explosive flame. Uh, the double cool. jump I like BF. That up to it. Down throw. He's gonna get off this. Nair. Nair. Up air. He needs, a, he needs to get up above him. Back air. Dash attack. Which one's the edge? Ooh, Fair I like that. Dash attack. You're off stage. Oh, he up airs and he almost dies off that straight up. He's back air. He has to recover. He's gonna counter him. Back air again. He's dead. What a combat. Jeez. What a string. That was crazy, dude. Really. Like, you, you, you can say whatever you want about Palutena. You can say whatever you want about Paul Tennis, you can't do cool things, whatever, whatever. That was a great string. Yeah. There was no Paul Tennis bullcrap. He got like two nairs, and it was just down to fundamental reaction and like space. Dude, he did, the, he, he did a tech chase into dash attack instead of just straight yeah. confirm dash attack. Yep. And that's the stuff I guess you got to do when you got to make a comeback that huge. Joker. Yeah, and yeah. Now, and now it was like, oh, wait. Oh, okay. really? All right. I, see, would I, like to I think, no, I think now is a great time to change characters. Because you I was say. Why barely, I like barely, barely, barely yeah. won that game. Yeah, it's like you clutched it out. Maybe he's just, he's just saying, if I play like that all the time, it'll, it'll be fine. I'm surprised to see him go to PS2 again. I think this is good for Call of Duty. I think a lot of people don't really think about that. They're like, oh, PS2, it's just PS2. You know? yeah. There's a couple characters that I think is pretty good for them. Wow, he goes to that hole in there. Surprised by that. That's so good. It catches yep. everything. Like if you get up attack and you call the, the, the timing wrong, and like he's still holding shield, then you get full up the, which is like 20, 20 damage. Yep. yep. Back air. Good. He goes for a really weird side B. He doesn't like when he's holding shield. Maybe he thought he was gonna jump out of shield. But like he tries to get him. Maybe there's a way to do it where you still get the grounded opponent. You didn't get it with that one. Down tilt there. No. That was another down tilt. Yeah. I I just kind of like not. I feel like his down tilt game is just kind of thing that needs to run off there. Wow. Oh, that's 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 again. again, that's like where. I really do think it's like he's predicting him to narrow off, off, off stage, so he's not mashing B in order to like react and up the perfect time. Right. And instead he's just not mashing hard enough to recover, which is really, like lucky for Ice, I guess. Ooh. That's not an easy timing either. Like kill, yeah. Back there. Oh wow, no back there. Got the fair, just more damage but not but worse position. He doesn't tech chase on the platform either. Wow. I like the auto reticle. Okay, sure. He still took he still took like eight, eight damage. That's like oh a no, full eight damage. Charge our uh, flamethrower. Whatever. Sounds like Charizard playing those garbage. Uh, Sounds like Charizard garbage. Up there? Wow, he just threw. Wow, I ended up back here. Tech chase? I, I'm surprised oh, he, didn't that's, he didn't do the, the thing. The, no, the explosive flame. Oh, that that's covers true. every option. That's back there's dead. For, for oh, Bowser, no. offside should probably catch all but one. He finally gets to the edge. Wow. 
The challenge is the flare breath with uh, F tilt. That's actually really good. If you think they're not going to roll F tilt to front off the wall, yeah, it just covers all like those jump off ledge aerial stuff. Yeah. Right okay. There's the S match that I was calling like two sets ago. Uh, that was. Wait. Oh yeah, you're right. Up air. Full nair. Oh wow. Down, he got the full, the full nair. So he was out of range. If he got like one hit, he would have comboed. Okay. He rolls the spot dodges. He's a little afraid right now. Back here, explosive Auto flame. Explosive flame no, again. Explosive flame. That's a bad explosive flame, but like, it works, so whatever. Was it tech uh, you'll blame No, but see, here's the thing. Deck. Even though it hit, it still put Zax on a better position. You're not dead from this, but it's bad you position. You the auto radical? Yeah. Maybe. But you, you might kill off that. Uh, nah. Not that really right. That's, yeah. There's no okay. reason to look for an Maybe it's supposed to be an F-tilt. Up tilt won't kill yet. Yeah, uh, maybe wow, like he respects more. all the distance, but then doesn't really get the dash like after. Go off there. Yeah. Just detail. Almost comes into a fair that would have definitely taken. I like. I like the yeah, yeah, but you're yeah. dead. All right, that much more convincing game. I think Zaxel had the fire going in game one. He was like, I can do this. I can do this. Like, he was so close to doing it, and then that was a depressing loss for him for sure. And then w watching him take game two confidently, that's hard. It's hard to look at that and be like, I can still win this. You know what I mean? Oh, this is unexpected. Dude, what? Zaxel Joker? No, it's not. You can't do that. That's cheap. I know Zaxel's a big P5 Going fan. Money. Yeah, he actually does love Persona. Does not think Joker's that good, but obviously he's a way better matchup than Bowser is. Obviously, it's a much better matchup than Bowser is. Yeah. Our audio is getting mixed anyway, so oh. like, even if it's too close, it's fine. Okay. Whoa. So, FD, Joker's best stage, right? Yeah. I, I agree. It's also Paolo's worst stage. I don't agree with that, yeah. I think it's the character, but for Joker, I do agree. Does not matter what stage you're on if you are always at the ledge. It is true. No punish on that? Re react? I think he thought it was going to, like, uh, singe him. But that's when you run. I guess. Holds all the way the down. Entire time. Wow. Uh, okay. I don't know. If this is a polished Joker. This is not. Back I like that. Is. That was really good. That was like the guns. Even if you get the two frame, you're in an awkward position now. You, you're still you're still not in an advantageous position. Yeah, I think like the last right trap. Right there. Oh wow. Ooh, I like that. Right under the, the yeah, yeah, really. Just, a bad he dare. got nothing on off of that there. Even this, if he got it, you pop him a little uh, far out. Congratulations. He just take that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this Joker is very clearly Dr. Fair. Up air? I think you. Yeah, that's out of loop range. Up air. I thought he'd forward air. I see Jen do that a lot. Really? Yeah. Oh, up air fair? Yeah. Okay. Roll, roll. Honestly, a solid strategy. I can't blame him. Back air? This is yeah. not looking super solid enough for Zach. No. I think this was a desperation pick, and I think it kind of shows. Grab, down, down throw, throw back Oh, okay. There. I, I, it's a decent option out of a down throw at this percent. See, that, but see yet, that's but. the shield you want if you're Zaxel. This is definitely kill percent uh, if you get to grab at the edge with Arsene. Yeah, that's a lot of Arsene meter. Wow. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, that's 26% of our zone. Arsene meter. Why? Because it's 13 and then it uh, doubles for Arsene meter. It doubles for what? For Arsene meter. That's how it works. Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. No, you're wrong. Oh, dang. Okay. I think you have to take 36% of damage to get full R sandwich. He just gunned all the way down. He could up smash that. I too. think if he gunned and then like went for like a jumping up air, he may have caught it. That wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't. That would not. No, I wouldn't have confirmed. He maybe wouldn't have confirmed. Like he had to have hit a hit air dodge to get out of that. And that's a, 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 a huge deal. Plus, if he's directional air dodge, you get a tech chase and stuff. I, I, I don't know. I just think that those go. And gunning all the way down is not getting him much right now. Like, congratulations, you landed. Now what? Yeah, exactly. Iha off ledge is a questionable option to lose some most winning things. Neutral enough that landing's not enough for you right now. You need to start killing. We're good. I kind of like it though. I do. Back here to the kill. And while well, Joker is it. definitely a solid comeback character, I don't know about this. He might just off himself here. Think so? No, oh. he's trying. Not even I almost killed. Okay, 
good down smash. If he wants to make a comeback, this is how. He's gonna need like several solid Arsene grab confirms if he wants this. Oh, I thought he SD'd. It's really, really easy to SD there when you do the uh, second yeah. gun round. Because you might, if you try and do a up, you might just do the uh, horrible, horrible up gun like circle thing. I'll agree with that. First set chase? Only, and it's actually, it gets a combo out of it. That was actually up there. Up, up, up tilt up air. Good. Up it's good. BMB. Nice up B. Ooh, this is, this is. Now, now he's moving. Okay, all right. Yeah, He's doing really stuff. Why are you looking for Dare? Like, what do you, what do you get? It's the strongest aerial at this point, but, but it's, it's still not, not killing. killing. Yeah. So what's the point? What's Just the positioning. Use? You got the wrong girl. I, th I, 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 I like that he's now going for edge traps instead of edge guards. He spared eight times and got punished Ooh, more. Okay, I thought he, he would recover high there for sure. Wow, okay. That was F smash may have reached. Any other smash attack would have worked and off, killed. Off smash, really? Run up off smash, yeah, it would be fine. Oh, okay, a little high thing on. Backers Jump definitely bear? Wow, Ooh, this, this is a grab. Don't win That's also a good grab. What are these guns doing? Oh, no, I like the fake outs. Jump, yeah, jump bear. Wow, yeah. okay. Just bears up in his face and challenges him. This is not lost. He waits the whole time on the on the platform. Does he know about the thing in this game where you lose your invincibility? That's that tilt going on. Yeah. Actually, you know what? At the beginning, I did not believe he just needed some time to warm up, and he actually got a, a really great string in the middle of that game. Thirty. Thirty. Now it's twenty-five. Bro, what? It's not. Okay. Dude, I love how Palatino like. For one second, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave for one second. Palutena, whenever she kills you with F tilt and it zooms in, her eyes are closed. She's just having a good time. That's the thing about this game. Like they, they inject out a lot of personality into all the characters in this game, or most of them. You got things like DK's eyes when he gets hit, bugging out of his head. Palu just looks like she's having a good time while she's killing you. It's like Joker's, you know, as stylistically impressive as he is. You can tell that like there was a lot of care put into making the characters in this game very true to their original appearance at least in terms of like personality even if some of them are less so moveset wise you know and then even the characters that have no personality but are just iconic through their animations where it's like Mega Man or Simon I, like I said it'd be presumptuous of me to say Simon has no personality but you know he's more iconic as the animations even those look great that's why this game that's why Smash is cool that's why we all love it before being serious but in any case speaking of getting serious Ice going back to Joker, and he's gonna have to really get serious if he wants to win this tournament because he's taking two sets off of Sin. Great. We have successfully downloaded Fortnite. Updated Fortnite, my bad. Honestly, we should have had a tournament for that instead of for being real. But, uh. Oh, on Sunday. Alright, come to Encore on Sunday. There will be a uh, Fortnite tournament apparently. News to me, but probably not news to you. Um, but. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um. Taking two sets off Sinji, really not an easy task. However, this game is already looking at least slightly better than the ones that they played in Winners Finals. And I think that's part of what happened in the Grand Finals is a... Uh, I'm not going to word it like uh, like Hungrybox did at uh, Smash Slash, where he said that the player going into Grand Finals from Moose has an advantage. But there is definitely a distinct shift in mindset from Winners Finals where you just want a set. And now you're presented with someone who you want to get revenge on. Well, assuming you were in Runners Finals. And if you're in Losers Finals, then you're probably making a solid enough for Losers Run as is. Still though, only 64% and the stock is gone. Definitely a hard thing to come back from if you're uh, ice, but not impossible because of the nature of where are you going? Ah, that is what we call a modern day tragedy. That is a... The, the, there, there was a, a rise in glory for our hero, and then he died at four. Doesn't hit the uh, down and punish, but Sinji's really just like Sinji's really good. It's like easy to say, but God, good lord! All right, up the over for the simple BMB. 64% on ice, not really uh, scary for anything from losing the stock, but does not have control off stage. He's about to lose our Sen. Up the nair? Really weird confirmed there. Oh, that wasn't confirmed. Really weird combination. 
Tries to use the... What the heck? I know Ice didn't match out about 100% grab in one pummel, so that must have been really weird with the water. Stalls with the uh, Persona Summon. Not intentional, because it can't be. Gets the jump back there, and that is a 3-stock. Admittedly, Ice only got to play for 2-stocks, but still, that was not close. If you're Ice right now, do you pick Wolf? Do you stay Joker? Do you... Well, you don't pick Palu, because that just doesn't work versus Energy ever. Um... Unless you're like a really super top pally like Jen. But uh, yeah, okay, stays Joker. I respect it. I don't agree with it. What do I know? This could work out. Huh? Oh, okay. Alright, so I apologize for the abrupt leaving, but I must go. It has been fun. Hi, Sinji. Sinji's probably gonna win. Goodbye.
this night be, might be the end of all things, but I do not want to miss out on Ice Sheik. So this was used to be his Smash 4 main, and he is bringing it out. I mean, maybe last ditch effort, but I mean, I don't think Shinji was prepared to face off against this. Uh, at the moment, he seems to be okay. I mean, I feel like for Sheik to be doing okay, she has to have at least... <laughs> tactically got hit by Bell above range of forward smash. Okay, now he's starting to take more damage. The thing is, like, with Sheik, like, Sheik is such a... She just doesn't want to take trades, you know? That's always been the case with her. And against Pac-Man... Not taking traits means never getting hit by any of his projectiles, of which there are a lot. So far he's doing an okay job. That does not really work. <laughs> I hope he doesn't... Oh my god. He's going to get to a point where he realizes that he doesn't know how to kill this character, I feel. I actually don't know if... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bill just... Bill just had to... <laughs> had to go see its mother in the hospital. <laughs> just rushed out the door. Apple almost finishing him off. Oh my god, if he had key, I'm pretty sure that that could have confirmed into key. But for the time being, gets a bouncing fish. That's not so bad, though. And that's pretty... Oh, right! Ice takes, she takes the first stock. I don't think Shinji was prepared for this. But Ice has to win five more... Wait, let me... Six more games. He has to win six more games. And that might mean he has to win six more games as Sheik, if this is the actual pick. And the... Yeah. Maybe he won't have a chance to play another. Yeah, this is even stocks now. And SCG is such a smart player that it's really, I just, from what I've noticed, hard to kill him with the same thing twice. You know? He adapts quickly and pretty easily. So that means that, uh, you know, as Sheik was so limited already in terms of getting kills, I don't know how he's going to be able to do this three times, let alone, like, how many is he going to need to win the entire tournament? How many... Wait, if he needs to win five... Let's see. If he needs to win six games as Sheik, three stocks each, he has to take 18 stocks as Sheik, at least. And that's what his plan is. What? I mean, I don't know if it's not happening. He's doing pretty well right now. Like, he is doing much better than I would have thought off of, like, a, you know, game three in grand finals, you know, after being down 2-0. Is that it? Wow. Yeah, that's the problem with Sheik, though. She does so well until she doesn't. Oh, my God, and 36, just like that. And once again, Sheik does not like to trade. Okay, gets a trouble, actually. And if he can take this stock off Sinji really quickly, which I don't know if is going to happen, but if he can, then... Yeah, this is slowly slipping further and further out of reach. But he doesn't want to give up. Not at all. Even if, if he has to fight to his dying breath here. Um, maybe be a little bit more aggressive. We see him approaching in ways that he hadn't been before. And that's exactly what Sinji wants when the opponent starts to, you know, their entire plan breaks down and they just start to lose patience, have to start throwing out hitboxes. He's just running in with these, uh, these like, late nares and Sinji is prepared for it every time. Another back throw is going to be he's putting him off stage, 112%. What looked like was pretty good, but we here see now how good Sinji is. His ability to just turn on a dime after one stock. This is looking unwinnable for Ice. 142, I don't know if he's hit, made a hit in the last minute. Sinji has just been so dominant as this goes on. That apple is in his hand. One straight drop, and it is curtains for him. And there it is, back throw into the apple. We have Sinji winning Encore 59. What you say? Oh, he didn't drop a game. <sighs> cool stuff happening. Uh, anyway, I think I'm probably going to hop off the mic now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, this was a really stacked encore, and it was really great to see how everything turned out. So many upsets. Smashdown. This is what you're watching. Come here if you can. It's every Thursday. Actually, do we want to do an interview? Do you want to do an interview? You can do the, uh, we're going to do an interview with Sinji. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch it.
Uh, Sinji 93. So, congratulations. Thank you. Did really well today. Uh, in terms of interview, the f you just know so much about Pac-Man. I'm just going to leave the floor open to you. What is the thing you want to say most about your character? Because you are just the foremost expert in him. Uh, I, think, uh, I think he's top 15 in this game, I guess. I think... I, all right, so... Uh, me and T uh, agrees. Well, he thinks that he's top 20. I think he's a little better than that. I think he's top 15. Um, I think his only bad matchups is probably Fox. Maybe Palu, but like that one is doable and Fox is doable too. So he does really well against a lot of the cast. Um, I think the top 15 characters are the top tier. Um, I think um, Pac-Man is the gatekeeper to that. And... Um, yeah, he's, he's just they they fixed him like they 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 made him a character. So like, <laughs> I don't know what else. To say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, oh jeez. Uh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> so you know, summer is upon us. What are your plans? Like, what what events do you know you're going to? What events are you hoping to go to? Like, what are your goals by the end of this summer? Um, next week I'm going to CEO. Uh. Uh, I feel really confident there because I got top eight at Momocon, and honestly, like the the two people that I lost, I lost a third and fourth. I lost a Sam Sora and Mars. Um, I'm way better in the Peach matchup now, so I'll be ready for that. Uh, nerf or no nerf, I'm ready to take on Peach. Uh, Zero Suit, another story. Uh, she's she's worse but she's just different and i think the mechanics of the game allows her to excel because like everything's like fast paced and very pressure heavy so she kind of excels in that so it is it's it's a weird type of space it's a weird type of world but uh i'm kind of figuring it out i'll be ready for that um just today like i beat Ice twice. He went Joker. Um, he plays a lot of characters. He all right. So the first time I played him, he went Palu, and that was at Zeno. Then uh, he went Wolf the second time. Third time that we played was actually this past uh, weekend at the Paramount. He went Wolf, and then uh, today he went Joker. Uh, he went Joker twice. All right, GGS. Um, he went Joker twice, and then he went Sheik the last game. Uh, Joker is a matchup that uh, I was really uh, concerned about because you know you know how DLC is. Like they always make the DLCs good and stuff like that. So I had to like <laughs> just, just the like that like the, like a battered housewife, or just like oh god, no DLC. Yeah, I had to do my research on that character. He's 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 good, but I think people overrate him too much. I think. He's, he's definitely top 10, but I don't think that he has a lot of exploitable weaknesses that I don't see players really doing. For example, uh, not engaging when he has, like, arson, because, like, when he has that, like, that, he's going to kill you. So, you know, like, I, I see people just rushing down when, when he has that. That's, a, that's one thing. Um, another thing is when he doesn't have it, he has a poor recovery. So you can, if you put out any hitbox, I have someone that's actually going to make a, a anti-joker guide, and I was helping oh. him out. But it's just in general. It's not just, it's not the matchup. It's just in general. I said one of the things I pointed out was that um, you can actually, like, put a hitbox out when he's about to recover, and then you just, you hit him out of his tether, and then he just dies. So that that's one thing. Um, yeah, he's he's very nimble, but at the same time, He's very weak uh, until he gets our sound. But you should know when to engage. You should know when to fall back or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So CEO uh, can't wait to go back down there because I I went there the last time I went there. Uh, it was amazing. I really liked that. That was actually the tournament where I beat Kamora Kiri in Smash Four. Right. I remember. Was that like the start of when you really? Because you ended up getting the last PG, PGR, the last PGR, 
Was that when you started to like really take names and or had that started before that? It was kind of before that. Oh, that's right. At Genesis, you did really well too. Yeah, Genesis, I did really well. The week after Genesis, I beat the Buzz. That's, oh my God, I still remember that. That that, that oh, broke I the still internet. That. Oh, that was great. Because everyone was like, "Oh, <laughs> how did you do that?" <laughs> they're like, "Oh, Pac-Man can't do it." And then like, I just came in and I was like, "What's up?" <laughs> and I was using a low tier character based on you know based on their traditional beliefs so um i beat the buzz that day and it shocked the whole world and then after that i was doing well at this event and this event i remember one of the events i beat 6wx and uh uh i beat a bunch of other people and then well ceo was definitely the time when i beat kamori carry that was a big win for me because uh it was kind of nerve-wracking because he was one of the few clouds, like besides Ralphie, that actually knew the Pac-Man matchup. Cause well, that's right. He yeah. played T. Like he he played him. Uh, I think it was like a month ago or two weeks ago or whatever. And then he beat him. It was off stream, so I didn't have any notes. So I didn't know what he was gonna do. And then Masha- well, you remember uh, Masashi? Uh, he played well. He played Fox in melee, and then he played Cloud in Smash Four. Okay. But he made an anti-Pac-Man guide. Like how to beat Pac-Man with Cloud. Oh, oh no! So I was like a little nervous after that, but yeah, I pulled it out. And then after that, I got PGR or whatever. Yeah. So CEO is gonna be great. I love the venue. I love the style of it. The 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 mixture between FGC and Smash. Um, after that, I'm going I, to. I don't want to get too ahead of things, but if you get top eight, what would your entrance song be? Um, Have you thought? Don't, don't th- of course, don't get you know. I'm not gonna give it away, but it's kind of a troll. <laughs> <laughs> and it, oh, oh, it's 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 secret. Yeah, it's it's like I'm gonna troll everyone pretty much, but like, <laughs> um, if if they can't al- allow me to do that, <laughs> it's not inappropriate or anything. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. If they don't have the production to do that, then um, I'll just try to figure out a. a a backup plan or something. All right. Yeah. And after CEO, I'm going to... The other big event is Defend the North. Mm-hmm. I haven't signed up for that yet, but I'm going to sign up for it soon. Oh. Is PGR already? PGR already. Oh. already. Yeah, if you if you sign up, it'll help out with that, and then other people will be like, oh, Shinji's there. Oh. And this, and this uh, well, the next season, it's not going to be based off of uh, entrance. It's going to be based off of the players. Because remember, in the beginning of the game, Nobody knows who's good. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So they had to gauge it based off of the entrance. So this one is going to be based off of the players. Um, after that, I go to Evo. Yeah, Evo. I don't know. And in between that, I don't know what else is going on. But yeah, we'll figure it's it out. Smash Con. But anyway, um, so do you have any closing thoughts? Um, I feel really confident going into CEO. I feel prepared uh i feel like uh some of the, there there are a couple matchups that i may feel like i well i know them but not fully but like i'm really confident that i can beat at, um anyone at that event uh you know me getting top eight was just just the tip of the iceberg so i feel really good going into ceo all right yeah Okay, well, thank you all so much for uh, watching. Remember to follow Sinji on his Twitter. Follow me on my Twitter. Uh, it has been a wonderful night. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Salty Fun. I'm Sinji. Have a good night, guys. And there it is. Uh,
Hackman!